And we ain't never got a box again. Well, right. well, 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 I already been getting these back, but but but, but now it's time thing. for yeah. you to get your just do. Yeah, you know the deal. We back again. Yo. A round of applause for Jersey's finest. A lot of content creators not worthy, but they minus. They get offended and start singing like the whiners. Talking like they tough, but it's only screaming and whining. My homie just do us to catch you don't come to Your squad get run through By the time you come to you duck food You suckers talk tough on the internet Revealing all your threats Now we got you trapped in the net Just do be on this grind Y'all better hustle up You dead lifted 90 pounds We doing muscle ups There's really no comparison His voice sound like a derringer Throwing a towel it's just embarrassing My dog just very philosophical And psychological and he mixed it all with good boxing news. These YouTubers feel like Bishop, I guess they got the juice. But it's lonely at the top to just to feel like child abuse. Be respectful, he don't want to talk wild and loose. If you can't relate, you get dismissed like a mild dispute. These weird cats will tell lies, then they hide the truth. Why beyond views? You lose your life when you collide with dude. It's just do boxing. Are you cowards quit jocking? Kirk is official with no other options. Yeah, yeah. You know the deal. Judah Ben, we in the spot. Just do boxing. Yeah. And of course, shout out to Mrs. Doom. Holding the whole family down. Word them up, word them up. That's my stuff, yes, yes. if I bought it. Say, don't touch. Don't touch. If you are in that mess, that's fine. Could you walk and talk at the same time? Man? It is my name that is on that mess. So remove your bed so I can call you a cab. I'm standing in the yard. See, and he's telling me how I'm such a fool. He's talking me out. I will never ever. What's good? What's good with the family? What's good with y'all, man? We back to get boxing. It's just do one more time. What's good with y'all? And it's good Monday. How everybody feeling? Hope everybody feeling all right on, on this good Monday. We're gonna have to talk about some boxing. We gotta revisit this hot topic because it, it it ain't gonna go away, and it shouldn't go away. You know, this uh this roly situation shouldn't go away. And um it's a couple more things I'm gonna add to the conversation that I didn't before. You know, what I mean, um it's a good chance that this this decision was was a foregone conclusion, man. This could have been a premeditated decision. And I, I hear a lot of people going a lot of different ways, um, in terms of who they want to blame. They want to blame PBC, Al Heyman, you know, uh at the end of the day. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going to fault the guy who, who, who apparently what it seems is if he, he sold his integrity, his integrity come with a price and we going, we going to have to revisit that because it's real. And this could be a foreshadow of things to come with, with Loma and Haney. And uh, I'm being serious like this, this is very concerning. Like we just seen what they did. You're not going to tell me that a guy like Lomachenko, if he make a fight competitive and they go 12 rounds, there's no way that they could pull a fast one. So 
we're gonna talk about it we're gonna talk about a, a, a few things man but let me say what's up to the fan skills mr new orleans in the flesh what's good with the skills my bro andrew gray what's good with a fan yeah man if something something was up andrew something was up bro we're gonna chop it up mr joe s salute to the queen happy monday to you how you feeling mike what's good with it bro <laughs> yeah yo <laughs> grandpa smurf definitely definitely put hands <laughs> on big rollo <laughs> what's good with it mike appreciate you family thrill hill what's good with it fam t word salute appreciate you pulling up man pull counter a real one man i like pull man salute the pull counter box and t word appreciate you pulling up d free my bro what's good with it educated jab what's good family how you feeling bro god self what's good with it my guy mike biggs boxing my bro what's happening with it votes uk what's good with it bro salute to the family man much love and appreciation everybody pulling up Ega chavez jersey in the building my boy god self in the building shout out loud. salute to the queen appreciate you stopping through how you feeling queen appreciate you ashley's corner was good cuz oh how you feeling today appreciate you stopping through jose diaz was good with it man how you feeling bro referee ran from that ring he was doing a sprint yeah man hey man tony weeks we're gonna talk about tony weeks man he posted something on his instagram right before this fight and again i know it could be like a reach right somebody we could be reaching and things like that and i seen it circulate so i went and looked on the Instagram myself. I looked at the post. I said, hey, man, this is very convenient that you will make a post like this before making a very what what I know a lot of people would call well, uh, either a big mistake or just pure incompetence. And I just don't know which way to go with that right now. But we're going to cook on it for sure. LeVar, what's good with it, bro? Appreciate you pulling up. How you feeling, Brody? mystery machines was good with the family how you feeling aunt mcqueen was good bro salute to everybody in the building much love and appreciation family how y'all feeling today man how y'all feeling feminine feminine phenom salute fan appreciate you pulling up salute to you how you feeling man y'all smash the like button sub to the channel if you're new come join the family 88 sports talk was good family how y'all feeling Salute to everybody in the building. Well, yeah, man. So we got to talk about this because it's 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 like the elephant in the room at this point. And um, you know, it, you know, I'm all, I always got my little jokes and things uh, uh, like that when it comes to certain fights. You know, I was joking about you know Big Watch Barroso, the Big Watch. I was joking about Roly getting the Roly in the chain and all of that stuff. But uh, let's be honest. For me, I was picking Roly to win this fight. Yeah, I was picking him to win this fight. I was picking them to win this fight. But if we being real, DK, salute family. Appreciate you pulling up. Salute to everybody in the building. Y'all smash that like button for me. Yeah, I picked them. And again, I'm revisiting this because I've I seen a couple things that just make me kind of raise an eyebrow. You know what I'm saying? Um, I definitely picked them. I had them winning. I felt like if it was an opportunity that he could have taken advantage of, they kind of served this one up on a silver platter. We all know his original opponent was Puyo. We know what happened with the with the PEDs or the blood pressure medication and whatever like that. And um, you know they 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 made him a champion in recess. You get what I'm saying? So in in turn, that allows him to fight for his title once he get his situation squared away. But but here today, y'all, we got an issue. We got an issue. I don't know if anybody was paying attention. I don't know if anybody was aware. I don't know if anybody's familiar with this kid right here. This dude, Ohari Davis, him and his team are threatening legal action because they're saying that if the WBA don't order Roley versus Ohari Davis next, they're going to pursue legal action because they're in line for a shot at the title. So, you know, it, it's a big mess. And, and again, depending on the situation circumstance and fighters will determine if belts matter everybody's making fun making the jokes uh, some people calling the belt roly got a reggie belt this this and that but do you see the mess that a, a reggie belt as these people are calling it do you see the mess that a reggie belt could cause they already allow roly to skip the line boom that's problem number one he actually fought for the title that it looked like he was losing and they gave it to him. Problem number two. Problem number three. Problem number three. This O'Harry Davies, uh, uh, Ash, 
This old Harry Davies, he had 140. He was he was he was he was a top prospect when he was coming up before he got it before he got his ass beat. You know what I'm saying? Before he got chipped up and stopped. But him and his team are threatening legal action if the WBA is not ordering Roley versus O'Harry Davies next. But the problem with that is you got Barroso. You don't know what's going on with that situation. He's a champion in recess. They're putting him in a position so when they sort out his situation, he can come back and be right in line to fight for his, his title that he had, that he was, you know, that was taken from him because of his PED situation. Now, if it if it comes back that <clears throat> that he, you know, it was some foul play involved with the PED situation, then he stripped all together and you ain't got to worry about him. But something tell me that that's not going to happen. And he's going to be allowed to fight for his belt, which is then in turn going to create another issue because you got this guy and his team threatening legal action and, and claiming that, you know, they're going to push the issue to make sure that the WBA order that fight. Now, I just don't know how that's going to all play out because then you got you got Roley himself that ain't going to really have no say so. You got him that, you know, it looked like they trying to set up him and Ryan Garcia, if you be if we being honest. Look like they trying to set up him and Ryan Garcia, but it looked like a lot is going to happen in between there. You know what I'm saying? And I, I just don't know how they're going to deal with it. Lightning, what's good with it, fam? How you feeling? Yeah, this is O'Hari Davies. This is the guy, uh, you know, he threatened him and his team. They threatening the suit, or not suit, should I say they threatening legal action if the WBA don't go ahead and order a fight between him and Roley because they saying that he was due an opportunity 120 days they got 120 days to give him an opportunity or or they're going to pursue the uh the legal action. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to see how all this turned out. It's crazy how Big Roly, <laughs> Big Rolo, <laughs> salute the coach. <laughs> it's funny how Big Rolo is, is causing this stare up. You know what I'm saying? Who would have thought that the guy, <laughs> this guy here coming off a of tank knockout loss would have been causing a stare up and be at the center of attention today, yo. This guy is at the t center of all attention today, man. It's the era of cheaters, man. It's a lot going on. No problem, Matt Cuzzo. No problem. It, that Roly was fifth in the rankings. They slid him right in there. They slid him right in there. D1, what's good with it, family? How you feeling? William, old school, what's good, brother? How you feeling? Salute to everybody in the building. So, look, you know this. I, I don't know if y'all knew. Y'all was aware of this. I don't know if y'all aware of this fighter or Harry Davis. Davies. I mean, um, he's been around for a minute. He took a couple losses, I believe, one or two losses. Um, he's been kind of off the radar ever since, you know, he had got knocked out. And um, I believe Josh Taylor pieced him up as well. But um, you know, he here and him and his team, they're 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 gonna make it an issue. They're saying if they if they ain't next in line for his shot at this title, they're gonna make it an issue. So we going to see how that play out. I just figured I'd bring that to y'all, let y'all know about that if y'all didn't see it. But um, something else that I came across as well when it comes to this Roley situation, right? So because they made more belts than was needed. And then I could, you couldn't be more right, bro. You couldn't be more right. And again, this is why you get what I'm saying. Belts are cool, but not so many of them. So many belts, they're not definitely not cool. Like, I'm cool with a fighter having something to fight for at the end of the day and it being something you know, like an extra besides just the money. I'm cool with them taking home what they would call like a trophy and things like that. I'm cool with that, but I'm not cool with so many belts because it caused so much confusion in the sport. Get what I'm saying? Kind of turn people off too. You get what I'm saying? But that's why I say, man, as quick as people a, a, a slight the belt that he got, look at the kind of trouble that is making already. Look how it could tie up several careers all in one because everybody looking at an opportunity for this belt. You see what I'm saying? So uh, depending on the situation, man, and uh, like I said, man, this decision with Tony Weeks could have been something that it was a, uh, 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 you get what I'm saying, Shaw? It could have been something that he, uh, and again, it could be a reach. It could have been something he was planning or he already knew he was going to do. Look, <laughs> let me just call it what it is, bro. I don't know if y'all seen this. You can say what you want. You post this BS before a fight, and then you go out there and make one of the biggest mistakes after you like what what is going on in your mind or life at the time where you would feel the need to post this and i i get it it could have just been random it could have been random 
it could have been a coincidence but i don't i don't too much nowadays believe in coincidences and you know this dude you know putting this this right here and then having a caption like everybody makes mistakes and it makes me wonder like did you know that you was about to pull a fast one because i don't care what you say you referee too many fights the pull is this is why i'm revisiting this today because i didn't see this live when i was talking about it last time this is bogus right here i don't care what he try to say for you to have this up and then actually go out there and make one of the biggest mistakes on my everybody make mistakes that's blatant bro that's not a mistake you did your job and i don't know who paid you but you did a job and it was a bad you did a bad i said it before this man tony weeks no disrespect to him i'm i'm specifically speaking about this situation this man did a bad job bad whether you was paid or not you did a bad job bad bro you did it and what i mean by that it was a bad move bad call and then it was so obvious so you you, you did you, you did a it was a very bad job you didn't cover it up it ain't even debatable you can't halfway complain nobody in the world could make a case that this man couldn't continue nobody i don't give a damn if it was your first time watching boxing in your life you can't make you cannot you cannot make this kind of mistake if you go back and look at the exchange in which prompted him to stop the fight and salute the cuzzo because she pointed it out first she was the first person i heard pointed out roly didn't land no punches in that exchange yo he bogus and then you posted this this is before the fight this is before the fight this this time stamp on this this was before the fight bro then you go out here and you do this so i know people want to blame the pbc they want to blame floyd they want to blame al Heyman. i get it but I'm going to blame the guy that was in the ring that sold his integrity for a damn pitcher with Roley. That's what I call it. I don't give a damn what they paid you. You basically sold out for a pitcher with a dude that didn't deserve to hold the title that you helped them win. You helped them win it. I don't care who. I do care in terms of like who paid him. And just follow me for a second. If somebody paid him, if he was instructed to do any of this, that's all foul, right, y'all? That's all foul. But what I'm saying is, it's harder to prove that we could kind of make sense of it and say, yo, we kind of could follow the paper trail and kind of figure out who a, who a decision like this would benefit. Right. But one thing we all can undeniably prove together as a community is we seen the referee that single handedly gave this man a belt when he was losing on all three, all three judges scorecards. We seen who did it. You get what I'm saying? We seen who helped him. BC what's good with it, my bro. Shade girl, salute queen. How you feeling? AJ64, what's good with it, bro? How you feeling? And, and that's all I'm saying. I'm not saying let the let the people off the hook that might have paid them or might have been connected, or maybe the ones that also benefit or benefit from it more than him, because he don't benefit. Well, a check is not good enough. Your integrity is on the line, bro. You've been repping for years on end. You bogus. I don't care who paid you. You wild for you to sit up there and do that in a climate where people is. Fight going tooth and nail for opportunities. You take one out of a dude's mouth because y'all gonna tell me he he 40 years old or 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 now I'm hearing he might be even older than that, but 40 years old and not marketable. So y'all, y'all was cool with jerking that man and you with that bad fade and that big ass mustache. You was cool with taking food out this man's mouth. That's crazy to me. Yeah, everybody should still be talking about it. Tony Weeks need to be held accountable. Cause like I said, we could we could speculate. Who we feel like it been who benefits from this situation. We can speculate who we feel like might have paid them in this situation. But what we don't have to speculate on, y'all, as a community, as a whole, undeniably, we do not have to speculate who the referee was and if that man could have or could not have continued that fight. We all know what we seen that night. So I'm going, I'm going to hold the guy accountable that you could see you we can see it. Uh, we can't tell. We can't. We, we ain't going to never be able to find out who paid him if he was paid. We're not going to find out if his cash app went crazy with a couple wild deposits or his, or his direct deposit went crazy that night. We don't know. But what we do know, you was in the ring and your integrity, you, you put it all on the line to give a guy a, a win that he didn't deserve. And you bogus as hell. And you went on your Instagram and you posted this post before the fight. Everybody makes mistakes. Man, get your ass out of here. This ain't no mistake. This blatant, bro. You did a bad job, bad, and everybody seen you. Then you skipped your ass up out. You skipped your ass up out the arena, and nobody held you accountable. Well, we get to do it because this is what not. This is what turns people off from the sport. 
why just do has a problem with it because one of my goals over here is to bring more eyes to the sport this does the opposite of that you got people in the chat talking about this why i don't watch boxing right here and that i have a problem with so yeah tony weeks with that badass feet and that weird ass mustache i'm tired of you yo if you can't do your job no more at the level that we need you to then just sit down no i don't need to call for your job because i like to see everybody make money but i don't like to see people fumble like this bro like this that man 40 or 40 plus however old you want to believe he is and he probably would never get this opportunity again and because of you you he don't he he'd he never get this call itself champion and now you got roly running around here like he could call the shots and you you single-handedly catapulted the roly era so all y'all that's about to be mad how roly about to be talking from here on out let's remember that tony weeks was in the ring it wasn't Floyd Mayweather, and it wasn't Al Heyman. It was Tony Weeks in the ring. Him, that badass fate, and that, that, that disguised mustache that he got that looked like it come with a pair of glasses, bro. Should have kept this post on social media. I had to revisit this. I think you did it on purpose, bro. I really think you did it on purpose. Just want Jack Reese. Russell Moore and Jack Reese pay as well. Facts, facts, all facts, all facts. Them, them as well. Because Jack Reese, you bogus as hell. And Queen, being that you brought that up, another thing, I heard that he was trying to give another fighter more time than he needed to. You know what I'm saying? He was trying to pull another one. You get what I'm saying? Hold somebody accountable, bro. They bogus, man. They bogus. He said he's a, he got be got be sixty. I feel you, yeah. I'm you know um salute the blue blood sports. We all know blue. Salute the blue. I already did a video where he said um, Barroso got kids that are in their 30s. So if he got kids that are in their 30s, there's no way he could be 40. I'm going to just say that. If that's his true statement, then there's no way he could be 40, y'all. And he still was beating him up under car boxing. What's good, my family? How you feeling, Brody? King Judah, what's good with it, bro? How you feeling? Undisputed the champion as long as 40 as long as <laughs> right, right, King Judah. Right. <laughs> How you feeling, bro? Tony Weeks is letting his little paycheck. And Roley had to step in and make the fight go as planned. You can't tell me that wasn't the reason this guy ref hundreds of fights. Mm-hmm. And that's why uh that's why D1, I'm right with you. That's why I know I, I heard earlier somebody say it's incompetence, right? And I feel like I get them when they say that's incompetence, but with his history and how many fights he's refereed, I feel like saying incompetence also almost, almost kind of gives him an out. Nah, you blatantly did this, bro. You know damn well. And do you, man, I'm about to get into it. I'm on his ass. Y'all smash that like button. Do you know why I'm not about to let him slide, y'all? Do you know why I'm about to let, you know why I'm not about to let him slide? Man, let me go find the pictures, man. Let me go find the pictures. Who remember, who remember Bottle Jack and Marcus Brown? Who remember, who in here? Nah, yo, I got to pull up the pictures, man. Y'all bear with me. Let me get this picture real quick. Y'all smash the like button. Tony Weeks, we on your ass today. And after this, I'll probably let him off the hook. I'll go find something else to talk about. But we had to revisit this today. He bogus. Who remember Marcus Brown and Bottle Jack? Do anybody in here remember that fight? And do y'all remember what happened in that fight? And who refereed that fight? Do y'all know? Do y'all remember? Because I'm going to do y'all. Louis, salute fan. Appreciate you pulling up. Flossy Sports TV. What's good with it, my bro? How you feeling? Will anyone want to see Ismail? And DK, that's that's the question, yo. And it's unfortunate that most people would probably say no. So you will see that. You will see that, you know, he could pretty much, you know, you, you can see what the intent is pretty much right there, right? He ain't, he ain't marketable. They ain't sell, he, he can't sell and yada, yada, yada. They're going to say all of that, right? Man, yeah, man. Let me get these pictures up here to y'all real quick, man. Do you do y'all remember? Salute to everybody in the building. Pardon me if I, I miss anybody. Mike Big, salute to my bro. You remember Mike Big said he remember, man. I'm just gonna pull this up here just so y'all can remember because y'all know I keep I keep it on standby. And I just want to make a point. This is why I'm pulling this up. This is why we revisiting this. It's a point I'm making with this, man. And this ain't the only one either, bro. This ain't the only one either. This dude, man. He bogus, man. Tony Weeks, man. You got to be held accountable. No disrespect, bro. You got to you got to be held accountable, bro. This is there's no disrespect. This ain't trying to muddy your name. 
we specifically talking about this fight, but I'm going to use a couple other examples to make my point. I'm going to use some good examples to make my point because I know y'all remember Marcus Brown, Bottle Jack. And if y'all don't remember, I'm going to refresh our memory with a couple of pictures that I know that I know y'all going to remember once y'all see this. And y'all probably, it probably went over your head that he refereed the fight because we wouldn't have been able to foreshadow that this idiot would have stopped the fight prematurely and gave him credit for a throwdown knock that wasn't a knockdown. Josh, what's good with it, my bro? Appreciate you pulling up. Salute to the fam in the building, man. We're going to pull this picture up, man, real quick. Badu Jack and Marcus Brown. And this, we talk about bloodbath, bro. You want to talk about bloodbath? Man, bro. Come on, man. Come on. And Tony Weeks was there, y'all. Tony Weeks refereed this fight. Tony Weeks refereed this fight. Goofy ass dude, man. Come on, man. That bad fade. Yo, that shit just got me a little hot right now because everybody, you know, I get it. Yeah, everybody want to go at the PBC right now. And that's the popular thing to do. Let's go at the PBC. ATL, Big Tex, what's good with it? ATX, pardon me, Big Tex. How you feeling, Brody? Appreciate you pulling up. Who remembers this, man? Come on, man. Who remember this shit right here, bro? Who remember this right here, bro? Who remember this right here? I know y'all remember this. I just want to remind y'all, this was Badu Jack and Marcus Brown. Do y'all want to know who the referee was for this fight? This was Bad Fade Weeks. This was Bad Fade Weeks that was reffing this fight, y'all. Bad Fade Weeks was reffing this fight. So you trying to tell me, you trying to tell me this man got the crack, a crack, a split the size of a the crack in the sidewalk in the middle of his forehead? And you decided that this fight could continue, right? But Roley could get into an exchange in which he lands zero punches, zero. And now all of a sudden, ah, oh, you know, I gotta jump in. Ah, oh, the fight can't continue. Ah, oh, the fight is over with. Are you are you kidding? Are, who you think stupid, bro? You allowed this to continue. The man got a crater in his face, in a split dead in his face. It's like somebody sliced him, bro. Are you serious? This man got a split in the corner of his, in the middle of his face, the size of a crack in the sidewalk. And they allowed this fight to continue with no problem. No problem. The bro was bloody as hell. I'll pull that up as well. I will pull up how bloody he was. But Tony Weeks also refereed this fight. So you trying to tell me that it was, was it incompetence or did, was he in there doing a the job? Because he damn sure did a very bad job, bro. He did a very bad job. And do you and, and I'll bring up another fight. I'll do y'all one even better. I'll do y'all another one. This was this fight. This was this. We all know. This is Bottle Jack. Look at look at that. Look at that in the middle of his face, bro. That split is the size of his eyebrow. That's the, 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 it's this, it got the same thickness of his eyebrow, yo. The split in the middle of his forehead. This fight went on no problem. Every single round, <laughs> no problem. Tony Weeks ain't see this, see fit to stop this fight. You get what I'm saying? You get what I'm saying? Your yeah, facts, man. We got to call him out. And, and again, I get it. You know what I mean? Right? He did the author. He split him, man. He split author bad too, man. And Marcus Brown with them damn head bunts. You get what I'm saying? That tweet before the fight, Ash. That tweet before the fight. Everybody makes mistakes. Nah, bro. This wasn't no mistake. You did a bad job, bad. The Corrales fight, the Corrales fight, and I do y'all one even more recent. Who remembers David Morrell when he just and, and prayers to Buddy respect to him? I'm glad he's recovering. Who remembers he just put dude in a, in a, in a in a coma? Who remembers that? He allowed that fight to continue. Dude was getting his ass whooped from pillar to post, pillar to post. Do you know what? Do you know what Tony Weeks allowed? He allowed the fight to continue. David Morrell had to literally beat the absolute fight out of this dude for him not to stop the fight. And he still didn't stop it. He knocked him out. He was letting him, he was about to let him go in front of all of us. But all, all of a sudden, Roly don't land no punches. Ah, let me call. Let me get the fight up out of here. I got it. I got to stop the fight. Got to stop it. Got to stop it. You ain't got to stop nothing, man. You, you, you need to be held accountable. What you got to do. Is come clean and just say, hey, man, hey, man, somebody paid me something. You got to say something, bro. Say, yo, I made a mistake. I want to hear something, man. You can't just go home like that, bro. And then we going, we supposed to, we supposed to believe that in the next fight, 
everything is going to be all good. It's not going to be all good. And I'm telling y'all right now, telling y'all ain't trying to make nobody nervous. I'm not trying to change nobody's mind. But if this don't concern you for what's coming up this week when you know you got a big fight and Devin Haney and Lomachenko were undisputed on the line where you got Bill and Dad being denied a contract extension, where you got Bob Aram coming out telling you to bet on Lomachenko, that's the safe bet. Well, we well, we seen that this fight, according to the people, with Roley and Barroso was only about a Reggie belt. And they the fix still was in. So you telling me the fix can't be in for undisputed when the guy that's trying to control the, the, the table is Bob Arum and his guy is Lomachenko. You telling me he wants Devin Haney to win? You telling me he ain't gonna try to if he could if, if we just seen this, you don't think Bob Arum could do it? That's what makes this bad. This should make De Devin Haney fans nervous. This makes me feel a little uneasy. I'm not gonna lie, because I'm rooting for Devin Haney. This is why I'm asking, is he going to get a fair shake? We just seen what they did. Bob Aram also setting the table by telling people who to bet their money on. He just denied a person an opportunity to continue working with him. So he basically sent them his walking papers. He said, the last thing I'm giving you is this, this fight, and you better win it. But he going to come out and tell everybody, hey, man, y'all better bet on y'all better bet on that. Y'all better bet on Loma. That's the safe bet. You get what I'm saying? Fight when a guy got put in facts. The same one. The same one. Well, he was the same one. And he allowed that fight to continue, bro. He allowed it to continue. He let Morrell beat the absolute hell out of this dude. Didn't see fit to stop that fight. This dude was getting his ass whooped. He had no chance at winning. That wasn't the case for Barroso. Barroso was winning. And he wasn't even getting touched up. Y'all bogus. Y'all bogus, man. Get him, get him out of here. He shouldn't be allowed to referee another fight, bro. Real talk. Until you explain to people what it is that you've seen that made you pull a plug on the fight and insult the millions of fans that was watching that fight. What is wrong with you? That's what makes me mad. You think they can't do that to dead? That's, that's way more on the line. It wasn't even that much on the line. But this Reggie belt, you let everybody tell it. You think they ain't gunning for dead, not giving them no contract extension. Then you got the you got Bob Am telling people where to place their money. That is very concerning. How is this safe bet? The guy that's coming off of three tune-ups in, in a row and still told the world that he needed more time and didn't look his best in, the la in, a, in his last fight. Why would that guy be the safe bet? Not the much younger guy that achieved Undisputed already, that got experience coming off two back-to-back -back dominant wins. Why would that look like he's entering his prime? How is he not the safe bet? That's what I don't get. How is Devin Haney not the safe bet? I'm sorry if I'm using logic off of what I just seen. The safe bet is Devin Haney, you old man. By you telling us is Lomachenko, that's your safe bet. Because if Loma win, you control the belts. You, the last thing he want is Devin Haney to take his walking papers and them belts with him. One thing he cool with, yeah, take your walking papers. But one, the other thing he's not cool with is him taking them belts with him. Without Loma getting a chance to become undisputed, something he's been chasing his entire career that's somehow eluded him with all his ch extra chances and privilege he got, he still ain't accomplished undisputed. That's what makes Devin Haney accomplishment even that much more greater. And when he beat him, it's going to be that even that much more greater. Not only did I beat you, I stopped you from achieving your ultimate goal, which is something I achieved at 23 years old, and you are 25 still chasing it. That's why we all got to root for Devin Haney. And at the end of the day, all right, if you ain't rooting for Dev, just root for a fair fight. And that's good enough for me. That's good enough for me. Because what we know we just seen with Roley and Barroso is not a fair fight. That's not a fair fight. I understand he could have been paid. I understand he could have been instructed. But at the end of the day, we could speculate those things. But we don't have to speculate that Tony Weeks was a part of this fight. And he knew he pulled the plug early. He done watched Corrales get his ass whooped by Castillo and allow that fight to continue, which I'm glad he did because Castillo had a hell of a comeback win. But y'all get the point. He know what a real ass whooping is. He know when somebody getting their ass beat or don't he? You get what I'm saying? But this dude, man, Tony Weeks need to be out accountable. He bogus. He, he insulted the many, many boxing fans that was watching. This is what turns people off. This is not good for the sport. And this ain't, this ain't about whining. I'm not trying to tear him down as a referee. I've seen him referee a, a lot of fights.
But this one right here tasted cake, bro. You can't do this and think nobody is going to say no. We're going to just move on. It's the next fight. You really robbed the dude. I don't care, Barroso. I don't care who it was. That's wild. Why? Because y'all can't sell him because he old? You can't sell Roley because he's alive. How about that? How long y'all going to put up with that? I get I get it. That's the play. Roley 27, he run his mouth, sell tickets. But that that y'all would be selling the people a lie. The same way you lied to that man when you raised his hand and gave him that belt. That's a damn lie. How long are y'all going to be to sell the people a lie? Because we already see the play. That shit going to blow up in y'all face. What you going to do? Or You know what? And that's why at the end of the day, Roley need to be on point too. Yeah, they did you a solid today, but that don't mean they're going to do you one tomorrow. Yeah, they did you a solid Saturday night, but that don't mean they're going to do you one in your next fight. They might be they might be putting you in there as the crash test dummy that you appear to be. And they're going to get you beat up. So it's only so long they're going to sell us that lie because they know this is as far as it could go. And they didn't even do a good job at selling us this one. Roley, you failed, bro. You failed. And they had to bail you out. They had to bail you out. You was getting beat up. And the older they say this man is, the worse it is. Roley, Tank ruined you. And I'm calling it. Tank ruined you. Jahan Ingram made it worse. And you got in there and Barroso put the, put the feather in the cap and, and punched you in your face. Your punch resistance is shaky. You don't. And, and I did some reading. I did my homework. Johnny Q was good with it, Brody. Zach B was good, my bro. I did some homework. Barroso said, while you sitting here praising Barroso, Talking about he hit a million times harder than Tank. He said he didn't feel your punches. He said he expected you to hit harder than that. And he expected you to fight at a higher level. You not that guy. He wasn't impressed. So why you, why you, why you riding Jock and, and you trying to find a way to slight Tank? Even when we all know this man don't hit harder than Tank. But you can say what you want because you've been punched by him, right? I give you that. But we all know you lying. He punched a million times harder than Tank. Then he would have decimated you the first time he dropped you in the third round. You wouldn't have gotten up the same way when Tank hit you. You didn't. You got up, but it was over with. See the difference, idiot? You know what I'm saying? Y'all selling a lie. If y'all anybody that's trying to sell Roley as the next thing, you're selling a lie and it's going to blow up in your face. And, I'm, and as a boxing fan, I'm going to say good for you because you sat here. You robbed the people of a good fight. I don't care how old that man was. He was beating that young man up and they should have let it continue. That's the equivalence of seeing a fair one on the street and the old head beating a young man up and you go in there and break it up. Make the young boy feel like he won. He didn't win, bro. We all seen him get taxed on by the old head. Old head was laying that old man strength on him. Roley ain't know what to do. Got Roley lip all busted up. Roley all, all Roley doing after the fight is praising him because you know you didn't win, bro. Get your ass out of here, man. Salute the crush. Salute the crush, man. Salute to you, crush. Crush the legend. Salute to my bro. Man, Roley was chinny, and that's what Crush been saying the whole time. You've been chinny, bro. I try to give him the benefit of the doubt. Bro said you've been chinny the whole time. I try to give you some benefit of the doubt. Man, they all bogus, but I'm not really mad at Roley because he did what he was supposed to do, right? Tony Weeks is, is the guy. Ultimately, he's the guy. He pulled the plug. He shortchanged all of us. He insulted all of us. We watched Morrell damn near kill somebody. No disrespect. We watched Morrell almost body bag somebody. And on your watch. On your watch, we we watch Badu Jack forehead have a whole cycle in front of us. He, he's this man lost a week's worth of blood in, 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 in one fight. On your watch, and you allowed it to continue, bro. You allowed it to continue. You allowed it to continue. But all of a sudden, Roley lands some imaginary ghost punches, and the fight is over. The fight is, oh, my God, I can't believe it. He, he can't take another one. He didn't even hit him, bro. Damn, you owe the you owe the whole boxing world an explanation, bro. You owe us all an explanation, bro. Yeah, facts, facts, feminine phenom. Me, a uh, uh, cold coin slot, bro. You could put spare change in the middle of this man's forehead, bro. In the middle of his forehead, you could fit spare change in the middle of this cut, and you allowed the fight to go. He bled all over you. You had one of the bloodiest shirts I ever seen a referee have for you not to take no punches. You had tons of blood on you. The fight continued. No problem. Morrell beat Adios, no disrespect, and not making a joke, into a coma on your watch and had to catch him and help him to his corner. You allowed all of that. You allowed that man to get beat 
from pillar to post from round one to round 12 and he got a late stoppage so he really got beat up the entire fight on your watch and you didn't think one time you didn't see one time to stop the fight you thought that dude was in good shape he wasn't he was getting smashed bloody face swollen morel was putting he hit him with everything and the kitchen sink and you let the fight go roly go land imaginary ghost punches and all of a sudden oh my god oh my god let me stop the fight right now i can't let him do this like what in front of everybody bro in front of everybody but this man had a crack a split in the side of his head it's, it's like a windshield bro man yo you let this man open up and bleed like this have a whole period and you you let the fight rock out bro then you hit instagram then you hit Instagram with this before the fight. And then you captioned it where everybody makes mistakes. Well, if that's the case, even if this had nothing to do with the outcome of the fight, y'all, being that he put this, at least be a man and stand on it. And won't you come out and admit your mistake? Am I, am I, is that too much to ask? Won't he come out and say, you know what? I, I pulled the plug way too early on that one. Call that. You, you can't just disappear into the depths of, of boxing and be like, ah, on to the next fight. Business as usual. It's not business as usual, bro. Y'all bogus as hell. Y'all y'all messing up boxing. I don't care if the fight didn't wasn't insignificant. It was insignificant to you. It didn't matter, bro. It was still a fight where a guy was winning and you took the opportunity from him. Yo, that's weak. Roley, you, you and Bullet, y'all should, should be the most humble. Y'all should be the most humble people in boxing, yo. I'm not accepting no Roly Romero trash talk for right now, bro. Him and Bullet, y'all should be ashamed, bro. Y'all didn't win, and y'all look bad, and y'all look bad, and y'all doing all that talk about, oh, till he was winning the fight against Tank. Ah, ah, a little more expand. Yeah, right, he would have never beat Tank. Yo, no disrespect. There's nobody that can, with, with, with logical sense, make me believe that Roly would ever beat Tank. Never. Now he ain't he don't he's not even Roly no more. I don't know who the hell that was. Maybe he is the artist formerly known as. Maybe he is the guy formerly known as Roly. Because what we seen Saturday night, y'all, is oddly enough, that wasn't even Roly. I don't know who the hell that was. It was some version of Roly. How we see a Dollar General version of Roly Romero and the original version ain't even that good. How do we see a knockoff version of Roly? All it took was one check hook, one loss after barking up the wrong tree from Tank, and now you change. You a changed man forever. I knew I should have been worried when he was when he was when he was too comfortable and he's too calm in the press conference. I knew it, bro. I knew it. I knew it was something. You was on your best behavior, bro. And I got the clips. We ain't done with Roly. We're gonna we gonna play Roly clips because I got some clips of him. I got clips of Roly too, man. His little fight hub clips that he did, bro. After the fight, Roly was on his best behavior, and all you did was respect this man after the fight because you know he beat your ass. Roly got his ass beat, y'all. Beat straight up. This man got beat up, man. We're gonna play these clips from his ass, man. We're gonna let 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 him let him let him explain himself. You out here, Jock Ride. Talking about this man had cement in his hands. He had cement in his hands. What did Tank have in his hand then? Like, <laughs> you get us? What did Tank have in his hand when he knocked you out? Because <laughs> you like couldn't cement, finish the I fight lie, with that, Tank. That, that, that. The referee didn't see fit to let you continue against Tank. Well, how come when Barroso put you down, you you found a way to finish the fight and go several rounds after that? You get what I'm saying? So if Barroso has cement in his hands. What the hell did Tank have in his? Vibranium? Yeah, he probably had that vibranium straight from Wakanda on your ass, bro. Man, Roly, I, I, I was pulling for you. I thought you was going to win. They cheated for you. Y'all smash that like button for you, bro, man. We're going to keep cooking, man. We're going to keep cooking on this. We ain't letting these dudes off the hook. I did. My bad, uh, Undercard. My bad, Brody. Let me go back up. Salute to my bro, Undercard, man. Much love. Just Ref Fury versus Out of Wild. And Tony Weeks, again, bingo, see? Family always on point. Appreciate that, bro. Much love and appreciation in that super chat, man. Let me get my bros just do real quick. Pardon me. I don't know how I missed you, bro. I know how. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if it's an update with YouTube, but now the super chat is almost not even coming up in the color no more. Like when I look at it on the screen, it's almost like invisible. That's how I missed it. 
I've I seen it, but I still missed it. That's what's going on. I don't know what. Maybe that's YouTube. And we ain't never got a box again. Right. Well, 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 well. I already been getting these back, but but but, but now it's time yeah. for you to get your just do. To my bro undercard, much love and appreciation, bro. I miss the old Roly. Me too, man. Damn, Tank, you see what you did, Tank? Damn, Tank, see what you did, bro? Damn, bro. That's some stuff up, man. Tank, you done separated this man from his senses. Now he ain't even, man. Tank, you know what? We might have to see a Tank rematch. We might need that. Because I told y'all, Roly, when Tank hit him, it's like he hit him so hard, he turned into somebody else. Y'all ever see the TV shows where dude get hit with something or they bump their head real hard and they just be another person? And for them to change back to the other person, they got to get hit real hard again. But Rosso didn't hit him hard enough. You get what I'm saying? Because he still was giving too much praise. Like he wasn't talking crazy. None of that. So he got to get hit by Tank again. Or maybe Jahan Ingram, at least. Somebody. Maybe if Tank hit him again real hard, he'd change him back to the old Roly, and then we could get the guy that's that's like the wild MMA fighter in the ring. Other than that, he doomed. He fooled, y'all. He like a he like a neutered dog. He like a neutered dog. He don't have his confidence no more. He's not the same fighter. He no disrespect to Bullet. I don't know what kind of trainer Bullet is, but all I know is I see a guy with with tons of flaws, and I see a, a trainer that's cool with his fighter having those flaws. That's what I see. So if that's a good trainer, then have at it. I don't know what kind of trainer Bullet is. No disrespect to him, but I see a very flawed fighter in Roley, and I see a trainer that don't seem like he care about the flaws that his fighter got. Why the hell is your fighter jumping off the ground in boxing with both feet off the ground? That's beyond me. I don't know what kind of move that is, but you got to explain it to me, bro. But we're going to play this, man. Yeah, T Tank going to knock him correct, man. Tank going to get him back right. I'm telling you, Tank got to Tank gotta do it. See, even See, and that's the thing. You know, Barroso might have had cement, but Tank got vibranium. See, it hit different. Is it different? So you got to get punched in your face one more time by Tank. Then it is setting back right, y'all. We'll get the old Roly again, y'all. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> we'll get the old Roly again, y'all. This man was humbled, bro. Tank humbled his ass. Humbled him, bro. Ha yeah, I'm telling you. A gunshot Roly is insane, bro. It's it's like a neutered dog, Roja. It's like a neutered dog. Salute to Roja. Appreciate you pulling. Let me let's play this, man. I got like four little clips from Roly, man. Anything I just showed adversity, you know, that I could get up, I could keep going, you know. I, and like I said, man, I ain't gonna lie, Listen. man. That 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 man got some men in his hands. Like, I ain't gonna lie. Every single time he landed something, it was like fuck that shit hurt. You know, he, he was looking cool. like man, I'm telling you, man, the Venezuelan dude's dangerous, man. They strong, you know. How was uh, that knockdown when he caught you? Were well, you off balance a little bit? Or I was off balance. I was still, you know, I mean, it was early round. You know, I'm still a little cool. I got to pause it. I got to. And your, li and your lip wild busted too, Roly. Your lip wild busted. That probably is that straight punch he caught you with in your mouth when he caught you pulling straight back. See? That stupid move jumping off the ground got you punched in your mouth. But anyway, bad in interviewing, bro. I'm not, I'm not the best interviewer. But, yo, you can't ask a question. Whoever the interviewer is, you can't ask a question and then help them answer it. You don't ask them about the knockdown and say, oh, what, what, what happened with the knockdown? Yeah, you were you were a little bit off balance, weren't you? Shut up. Shut up. He know he wasn't off balance. And if he was off balance, if he'd have kept both feet on the ground, he probably wouldn't have been off balance with his goofy ass. You sat in the table. Don't help fighters answer questions, bro. How you going to ask him a question, then answer it for him? All right, what happened with the knockdown? You're a little off. Nah, nah you, you be quiet, man. Let him, let him, let him lie. Let him lie. You're going, yeah, I was off balance. And, uh, man, shut up. You wasn't all balance. You got punched directly in your mouth. Your lips say it all, bro. You're going to answer it for him. Well, you off balance a little bit? Or I was off balance. I was still, you know, I mean, it was Man, don't do that, bro. It's strong, you know? How was, uh, that knockdown when he caught you? Well, you off balance a little bit? Or? I was off yeah, balance. I was still, you know, I mean, it was early round. You know, I'm still a little cold, you know, but like, you know, I got up. I fent the, I fent the round, you know. I, 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 stand, I, stand, I box smart, and like I said, you know, I got the victory. You just hold on, Ryan. Tell me about that. You and Ryan now, you took care of business, you got the belt? Like I said, at the end of it, you know, he had 140, I'm at 140, you know, and right, right. I have the belt, you know, you have to come get right. the belt, you know, and that's a fight that everybody been asking for forever, you know, and I, all I know is that fight is the biggest fight of boxing right now, me and Ryan. And then the winner between me and Ryan gets Devontae Davis. That's how we're going to do it. We're going to do it the old school way. Look. Right? <laughs> <laughs> hey yo, I'm, I'm dead serious. I'm dead serious, y'all. 
the next unrealistic person that called Tank out, I'm calling him out on my channel. I'm telling you. Next, that's to the boxing world. I don't care. Just do from Jersey want to fit the next person that unrealistically called Javante Tank Davis out. I'm calling you out next on everything. Y'all won't stop, yo. First it was Sean O'Malley. Then it was, I think, the other the other MMA fighter. Like, yo, y'all all got to stop. Y'all all got to stop. Regis just said Tank. Roly saying Tank. Roly, you might need Tank again because, like I said, you might he got to get you back right, bro. The only one that could get Roly back right. If y'all ever want to see Roly back in the ring again, Tank got to set him back right. I don't think I don't think Barroso hit hard enough. He hit hard, but he don't hit hard enough, bro. He was asleep. I woke up. <laughs> Roly got knocked down. <laughs> right, right, man. Right. A little weird, yo. They be weird, man. You could tell what they question sometimes. Weird, bro. Ryan's so bad. At this rate, I don't know. Rosa, yeah, at this rate, Ryan beats Roly, y'all. 88. At this rate, Ryan beats Roly. See that bone spot where he put his head down? <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Roly has has boxing learned herpes. I'm telling you, bro. RDPD salute fan. At least bad five. That, that fool never keeps it real. And you know what? And no disrespect to him, RD. I know what you mean. The thing is, as a man, like I'm a man first before I'm a content creator, right? Don't nobody like a kiss ass. You get what I'm saying? Except for the person that's probably getting their ass kissed. And sometimes they don't even like it. That's all I can say. Like, you get what I'm saying? Uh I don't like people that go with anything. Like, cause he said, he said Barroso had nothing for Roly and Roly was doing this and that to him. That's a lie, bro. You know boxing. You know boxing. If there's one thing that dude knows, he know boxing. I ain't with the ass kissing. You lying. Anybody telling Roly he was whooping Barroso ass should 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 he should he should side out you. He should he should consider not being friends with you, bro. After that, I'm telling you. Yo, facts, facts, RD calling out Spence, bro. Bro, you're going. <laughs> He's stressing. I'm telling you, that's 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 a stress spot. Thing and give it over to buy rematches. I'm telling you, yo, yeah, yeah, man. Facts, man. Nah, he ain't, he ain't, he ain't get he ain't getting one. Eight one seven. What's good with it, Brody? How you feeling, old baboon booty mouth? <laughs> Fix this shit, yeah, man. Yo, I'm telling you, eight one seven. They foul, bro. They foul. Tony Weeks foul. Roly, you wild. You got beat up. You wild for, for getting beat up and saying anything but that. Getting on here, lying to the people. These dudes is beside themselves, man. Hold on. I ain't done with them. I ain't done with Roly. Roly just say anything. Y'all smash that like button too. Grand Mercy Bull. Salute, family. Appreciate you pulling up. How you feeling? Roly, what's good with it, family? Appreciate you stopping through. Y'all punch that like button one time. Sub to the channel if you're new. This is more. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, uh, Tony Weeks is single-handedly responsible for catapulting the Roly era, y'all. He did it. He did it with a bad car. He did it with a bad judgment call with the fake knockdown, the bad stoppage. Don Trey, salute fan. Appreciate you pulling up. How you feeling? The bad stop, the bad knockdown call, the bad stoppage, the bad feed, and the bad big ass handlebar mustache. He bad, bad all across the board, bro. And he skipped his ass out the ring without explaining to nobody what exactly he's seen. I'm never getting over this. Y'all crazy. Like when y'all do it this blatant, like I'm gonna keep saying it. Tony Weeks, you did a bad job, bad, bro. I, that's like unheard of. How you do a bad job, bad? Like you, ha. You did a bad job, bad, and, and you continue, and then you skipped up out of here like you're in, ah, nah, <laughs> business as usual. Man, yo, who paid him? Who paid him, bro? Who paid this guy? So, uh, what do you make of the reaction of, of the stoppage, and did you Look feel him. it was a little Look bit premature lie. in your opinion? Yeah, no, I'll be honest, it was a little premature. You know, I mean, yeah, he was you, hurt, bro. though. He was hurt, like, I mean, you know, nah, when you started doing like the stinky that, leg, you're hurt, you know? Nah, but he wasn't doing no stinky leg. It, it was lie. premature. He's a warrior. I know he wanted to continue. I wish the fight would have continued because no, he you don't. because I, I no, wanted you to beat him, you know, in, no, you in, don't. A, in, in a spectacular fashion. But, you know, at no, the end of it, I'm not in charge. I'm not I'm not the referee. That's true. And, like I said, all salutes to him, you know, he... That man's strong, man. Like, when I mean, he's strong. He's strong. Like, he's one of those dudes where it's like everything hurt. Like, he's one of those dudes that you don't even want to take a damn risk. Because, like, like, you're like, if I land this, if I, if I throw this too slow, it's going to hurt, you know? Listen to him. All you're doing is talking about power. That's how you knew you came in here shook. Did all that talking. 
Let me find out the only reason you had heart because Tank short and you really thought that that gave you an advantage. Goofy. Let me find out when you in there with somebody else that's more your size because Barroso was definitely more your size. Let me find out you ain't roly no more. Let me find out. Y'all dudes going to really keep getting knocked out by a dude that's five foot five and a half because y'all think his height puts him at a disadvantage where you're going to be in there and be stupid. Let me find out. The only reason you had balls against Tank because you felt like a you you really let him being short fool you into thinking he couldn't whoop your ass. <laughs> you can't make this stuff up. Let me find out. So you get in there with a guy, even though he could have been your father from what I'm hearing, and you scared to throw punches. But you see Tank, and you're like, ah, he's a, he's a short guy. Ah, he got T-Rex arms. Ah, I can beat him. And, and you you tough with him. That's what got you put. That's what got your brain rattled in the first place. But you tough with him. You get in there with a senior citizen, no disrespect, Barroso. You get in there with Big Watch Barroso, and now you scared. Now you don't want to fight. Now your track shoes is on. Remember all that talking? You talking about Tank ran from you. What did you do against Barroso? Uh, uh, according to your logic, if Tank ran from you, what the hell was you doing Saturday night, bro? What was you doing? Because I seen you jumping off of both feet to try to get away from this dude. That's why he sat you on your back pockets, goofy man. And then bullets sitting over there with them bad dreads, getting on my damn nerves, not teaching you nothing, bro. I'm on, we know we ain't doing that. I think the fight could have continued. Man, just sit down, man. Go teach your man how to fight, bro. You sitting that man in there doing jujitsu. And they're playing around, jumping around. You don't see that stupid stuff he be in the ring doing? Man, bully going to get you beat up, boy. And you at 140 where it's not safe? Man, somebody going to hurt this dude, yo. And I was rooting for you. That's why I'm pissed off. I was rooting for you because I knew, I knew, just do knew. If it was any opportunity, Roley was going to be on top, it was going to be this fight. No, he get his ass beat. He get beat up and he get saved. And then, then we want to blame everybody. PBC, Al Heyman, Floyd Mayweather. Oh, my God. They all, everybody's corrupt. Oh, my God. I can't take it. i never seen this before. Tony Weeks, man. You bogus. Because of you, everybody else is getting the blame when it's really on you. Because you pulled the plug. Ain't nobody put no gun to you. Ain't nobody put no, last time I checked, ain't nobody put no gun to that badass fade or that big-ass mustache and make you call that fight. I don't care how much they paid you. The fact that your integrity came with a price is wild as hell. You've been a part of boxing. You've been officiating in boxing for how long, bro? For how long? And you're going to do people like this just to take a picture with Roley? Nah, bro. I don't care what they paid you. I, I really don't. I don't care what they paid you. I don't care what they paid this dude. Blair Cobb, too. <laughs> <He's just right. laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, listen. Speaking of that, T, speaking of that, if I was Barroso, being that he stopped the fight because you claimed I was out of it, yeah, I would have went with that. I would have been so out of it that I would have hit Tony Weeks with the cleanest two-piece you could have ever hit somebody with in their life. Man, oh boy. Do you think, so he think just waving the fight would have ended the fight? Yeah, it would have ended the fight with me and Roby. But the fight with me and Tony Weeks would have just begun. And it would have ended with a fucking two-piece to his shit. I'm telling you, I would have hit Tony Weeks with a two piece to his mouth. I'm telling you, the heart, the best two piece of the fight would have been of the night would have been landed on Tony Weeks and that bad fade and mustache. I'm telling you, I would have been like, and then when they would have said, "Ah, uh, what happened?" You know, you hit the referee out of like, "Hey, man, I was out of my feet. He had, I was out of it." According to Tony Weeks, I, he was hurt, right? I would have went right. He would have got hit with the cleanest two piece that I would have thrown in my entire 50 year career. They would have, the headlines would have been reading. I've never seen a 50 year old land a more crisp two piece on a referee and knock his feet back an inch or two. I'd have knocked that bad feet and that pulling pill mustache off your lip, bro. You robbed the fans. You robbed Barroso. You wild, man. That shit kind of really make me mad. All jokes aside, he crazy, bro. You can't sit up here and do that and be cool with it. I don't care who paid you. Nah, it's corrupt. Nah, what, what do you expect? Just do. I don't expect him to do that. I right, Barroso, you had a free two piece, bro. You should have hit him directly in his man. The cleanest two piece of the night would have been me and Tony Weeks. A one two. I'm telling you, bro. And after that, y'all could stop the fight. Do whatever you want, bro. I don't care no more. 
that I would have got my two piece off. I'm telling you that you get to stop the fight. Somebody would have got this work. You stop me from giving Roly the work, then you get the work. Oh, I'm too hurt. That's why you stopped the fight. All right, bet. I'm so hurt that I'm gonna throw two punches so hard, and they is gonna connect, and I'm gonna just act like I was out of it. And that's just we just gonna call it that. We gonna call it that, bro. We gonna let it be that. Salute to my bro, ADA Sports Talk. In the super, just imagine unifying with Matias Roly. <laughs> if he dies, he dies, man. I'm telling you, Ivan Drago style. If he gets and we ain't never gonna box again. Hey, whoa, whoa, over, whoa. Bro. I already been getting these, but but but, but now it's time yeah. for you to get your just do. Salute to my bro, 88 man. Appreciate you, bro. I'm telling you, bro. I would have punched his his mustache and feet. Out of the mustache would have been off. The feet. That he had that fade for years and pretty sure it's locked in. I, I, I'd have punched the fade back an inch or two. But I, the mustache would have been off the lip. You know what I'm saying? The, the mustache was coming off the lip, bro. <laughs> His edge up all the way. I'm telling you, bro. You're going to do that to us. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm telling you. Right off his joint, bro. Two-piece. No biscuit, yo. Just leave him like that. Bing, bing, bang. I don't know. He hit him with a three-piece. They might get suspicious. But I know with the state that he claimed you was in, that's grounds for at least a two piece. If Blair Cobbs can hit the ref with like a four piece combination to the stomach, to the gut, I definitely can hit you with a two piece to your mouth right now. Knock your mustache off, bro. You're going to do this coming off a of TKO. Yo, he would have been coming off a of TKO. His next fight, they would have been reading his record 0 and 1 coming off a of TKO loss to Ishmael Big Watch Barroso. Boy, I would have punched Tony Week so hard in this shit. Kirk Douglas, salute, Brody. Appreciate you pulling up. You don't get to take the, no win from nobody like that. That was crazy, bro. That was crazy. Yeah, it's the fade locked in. Yeah, you probably ought to knock it back an inch or two, though. I ought to push this fade back. You know what I'm saying? You're going to do me like that. <laughs> no, I'm telling you, bro. 817, I'm telling you. I ought to act like I was. Hey, hey, he said I was hurt. He said I was hurt. Y'all seen the cameras or didn't y'all? Since, we, since everybody playing dumb, I'm going to act like I don't know what's going on. I'm at, when they ask me about that two piece, I'm gonna say I don't remember. I was out on my feet. I'm dead serious. All jokes aside, I'm tell I didn't hit him with the most picture perfect textbook one two combination. And then I would have proceeded to walk to my corner like I don't know what the hell was going on. When they asked me about it, I'd have told him I'm out on my feet. I'm telling you straight like that. Out on my feet, bro. Ain't no way you're gonna take something from me like that. That man really. Big Watch Barroso was really in there working, y'all. Yo, bro was coming. Yo, he was bringing it, bro. Big Watch Barroso was bringing it. And, 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 and Roly, you ain't have it, bro. You ain't have it, man. Yo, <laughs> yo I'm, tell I'm telling you, 817. I'm telling you, bro. I'm telling you. One straight to the joint. If I see Tony Weeks in Las Vegas this weekend smoking, <laughs> he said, nah. Roly is cert certified group true PAs. He really is, bro. He needed a. Listen, if Badu Jack could mistakenly catch dude Mercante with that hook and knocked him all off balance, I know for sure. But Big Watch Barroso had at least a, a good two piece before before they said anything. Now, if he didn't with the three piece, I don't know. They might get suspicious. One, two, boom, boom. And you act like, hey, man, I ain't know that was you. I thought you was rude. I'm telling you, I would have said it. Yo, I would have said it. Y'all think I'm playing. AJ was good with it. G Rule Salute fan, appreciate you pulling up. KO by Tank, beat up by Bar Barroso, dropped and was gifted to TKO. Yeah, yeah, I'm in here cooking weeks right now, G Royal man. Lost art of boxing, a laugh. Q, what's good with it, bro? Appreciate you pulling up. How you feeling? Yeah, man. Yo, I'm telling you, 88, I'm out on my feet, bro. Roger Bay with his style time. I'm telling you, bro, out on my feet, bro. Never won a medal in Special Olympics. <laughs> Either way, somebody going to take an L. You took a win from me. Now you got to take the L that Roley was going to take. And all it would have took was the two-piece because I would have put everything I had left in my 50-year career would have been in his chin and that lit and in that feed. Yeah, I'm telling you. I, boy, I'm telling you. I would have let him have it, bro. Ain't no way you going to do me like that, bro. Yeah, I'm telling you, I'd have did him. Yo, I'm telling you, you thought Uskatagi and, and got dead back. I'd have did him similar to that. Yeah, he was up on all three, all three cards at that point. If you really gonna give him the BS knockdown, okay, they both shared a knockdown, so they it's even in there. It's a good fight. Let it rock. You get what I'm saying? That's all I'm saying, man. You going you you took it from Barroso. You took it from Barroso. Bar I'm telling Barroso. 
Barroso should have peaced you, peaced Roly, and then took Roly chain on all that, and then went home. Told him, keep the belt. I got your chain. Straight like that. Should have took the Roly from Roly. I'm telling you. All the way. Yeah, yeah. I'm everything. I'm, I'm landing. Clean. Flush shots, bro. Flush shots. Tony Weeks deserve a two-piece. All right. Either or. You either give, give us a real detailed explanation as to what you seen in the ring that that, that night or, or get the two-piece. That's your, You get what I'm saying? I would have made the decision for him if I was Big Watch Barroso. I would have just hit him with the two-piece and went about my business, bro. Telling you, bro. Yeah, I'm telling you, you know, facts. 88 survival. I'd be like, hey, bro, I didn't know what was happening. I'd be like, Roly a big puncher. You know what I'm saying? Roly a big puncher. Anything he hit me with hurt. I'd have been saying the same thing Roly saying right now. Shaman Ortiz. Fate, what's good with it, bro? Humberto Galindo is the fight. Oh, yeah. Salute to my Brody Fate, man. What's good with it, Fate? How you feeling, bro? Zab Judah woke up. <laughs> you woke up. Yeah, I'm telling you, and worse, bro. It mean, it would have had to pull me all Tony Weeks. I'm telling you. Yo, the, the rest of his career, he will no longer be able to call himself a champion. I up five rounds. You get what I'm saying? On one of the cards. Facts he was. Facts he was. I am telling you, bro. They did they, they, the, the big watch Barroso got dead dirty, y'all. And I just don't agree with it. I don't think, I don't think his his it, it should have been like that. You get what I'm saying? Roly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Because of that watch. I ain't see that watch. Let me see if I still got that picture where he had the watch. Damn, I had it. I don't know if I took it out. Big watch Barroso. He had that big ass watch on. Uh, I think I took it out. Yeah, um, yeah, Ash at the press conference at the weigh-in, he had a watch on, like real. It looked like it's too big for his wrist. The watch. <laughs> and he definitely was coming for Roly Chain next. Roly, he was coming for your chain. That's why they got they got Roly up out of there. They know Barroso. They know Barroso was fresh off a hot stealing somebody hot ass watch. Telling me Big Watch Barroso was on his ass, though. Putting them old man, he's putting that old man scrimp to him. Uh, and, and, and again, y'all, just so so everybody know, O'Hara, O'Hara Davies, it's him and his team saying they're going to pursue legal action if they don't order O'Hara Davies versus Roley next because they're saying he's due a shot. You get what I'm saying? But Barroso, Team Barroso said they're going to petition for a rematch. They trying to get the rematch. And Barroso said he feel like Roley ain't going to want to fight him again because he felt his power. He said Roley felt his power and he not going to want to fight him. You get what I'm saying? And he also said he didn't feel Roley's punches. He didn't feel them. Uh, he, he can't punch like that. And he said he thought he was a higher level fighter, but he not. He, so he's not impressed at all. And he feel like if he fight him again, he going to beat him up even more. That's how I was doing some reading. So Big Watch Barroso and, and company ain't playing. They pursuing a rematch. The WBA president also agreed that um, Big Watch Barroso is 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 uh, deserving of a, um, a rematch. So we're going to see how that go. Because then you got Kenneth Sims that just fought a WBA title eliminator as well. And he's going on a seven-fight win streak. So I don't know how all this going to play out. But 140 just got interesting. So it's, it's unfortunate that it had to happen like this. But it, it, definitely, got, it definitely got interesting, y'all. So we're going to see. You're gonna see, yeah. I got I'm I gotta find a picture, Ash, where you got the big big watch on. Yeah, I'm telling you, 17 words. <laughs> watch go follow. I'm telling you, big watch, AJ, big ass watch. Yo, uh Tay Jones was crying too. Prop guy, salute fan. Appreciate you pulling up. Y'all smash that like button sub to the channel. D man junior, my bro. What's good with it, D man? How you feeling, bro? E, what's good with it, Eric? How you feeling? You whooped that young man, bro. Prayers up to Barroso and his family with this situation his wife was going through. I'm telling you, bro, he would have had a great a great story like that could have lifted the spares of the family, everything, bro. And they took the opportunity from him. So they're going to get this work today. Frank Martin is the main event, July 15th. Bet. Make Ryan versus O'Harry and Roley versus Barroso, too. Problem solved. That's decent. That's decent, Um, Rosia. That's decent. That's definitely decent. That's definitely decent because I don't I don't see I don't I don't see O'Harry Davis and team being able to make no uh noise really if if Barroso get a rematch and ain't nothing they could do they just gonna have to eat it. And he's getting a fight with Roley really Barroso, yeah. Now nah, I'm with you. Uh, um, <clears throat> well they um look, but he's saying I, I'm guessing like his team O'Harry Davis team is looking like if they if if they go in another direction O'Harry Davis team is saying like. I'm think that's barring a rematch. Like if a rematch happened, then obviously he can't get the fight next, right? But he's saying him and his team, his team is saying 
if Roly and them go try to make a fight with somebody else, then they're going to step in. They're going to go the legal route. They say they're going to go the legal route. So, uh, prop God, I don't know, man, but look, he just did it. He fought a title eliminator. That's the crazy part. It's a mess at 140 because look, this is the problem. You got, you got the potential of a Barroso rematch because they saying they're going to push the issue, right? You got that. You got the Puyo situation, the champion recess, them trying to sort his situation out. But if they if they square his situation away, Alberto Puyo is able to come back and be right in line for his title. So it, it's creating a mess. Then you got O'Hari Davis threatening legal action if they go try to make another fight with somebody else. So it's interesting to see how it plays out. But Sims undoubtedly deserves an opportunity at a title. I'm just being honest. He got seven fights straight where he won. Two of those guys had un unbeaten records. He was picked to lose to both of them dudes, I believe, and he beat them both. And I was in the building for one of them. Kenneth Sims had the fight of the night. He showed Roley how you really supposed to get out there and perform, bro. You know what I'm saying? So, man, I, I hope he get I hope he get an uh, opportunity, man, for real. Barroso, niggas, he got shit taken from the title. I'm telling you, bro. I'm telling you. I'm with I'm with Big Watch Barroso, man. Y'all make sure y'all y'all smash that like button for your bro for your bro, man. Krypton, what's good with it? Make the fight Roley will put Davies versus Barroso will be made. Mm. We're going we gonna to see. I, I I like to see how <laughs> from a big dude for sure, Mike. Big dude. That's why I say he stretched the big dude in the dice game. Took his watch, bro. Marinez, Tank, and Barroso. All, 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 all L's. All L's. Facts. That's a good point. Uh, 8178, all L's. Yeah, Tony Weeks has ref the fight since the Morrell fight. Yeah, I could look it up. I could look it up and see. That was a good rematch. Was in trouble, yeah. Yeah, he said he hit it. He said he hit a million times harder than Tank. And, and you get and, and all he was doing, I got you. Well, all he was doing was uh praising, praising this guy's power. This is another clip also from Roly. Y'all make sure y'all punch that like button one time in the mouth. Yeah, Puyo in recess. So they say if they sort his situation out, he's ready. He they gonna put him right back in line to fight for his title. So it's like, is Barroso going to get the rematch? Is Puyo going to get put back in line? Is O'Harry Davis going to proceed legal action? You get what I'm saying? This this, this, this shakeup right here just made some things interesting. And the first issue started with them letting Roley jump the line. That's where the initial problem started. So he the cause of all this. So all I want to do is see him stand on business, man. Stand on business. You lost 25 on that Roley disaster, did you? Oh, you went with Puyo? Tony Weeks was an actor on Google. <laughs> Actor, yeah, they say yeah, actor. Damn, man, I hate to hear that you lost money, man. Drew spoke on Google search for Tony Weeks, say he's an actor. Yeah, right. Ah, ah, that's crazy, right? It's crazy that they they got him like you know. Oh, we don't want no more. Nope, smoke. We don't want no more smoke with him, Mike. He don't want no more of that, bro. Salute to my baby girl, Miss Just Do. How you feeling, Queen? Appreciate you stopping through. I'm Pardon me if I missed you earlier. How you feeling, baby girl? Salute to you. Salute to everybody in the building. Y'all smash the like button for one time for the one time for your mind. But yeah, man, this big Rolo some more talking. It was and a complicated man. night because he looks, I mean, you have the belt, but he's a, a, an old man, but he looks like really strong. It was How a complicated doing? night. He's been, he said he boxed since he was 11, bro. That means he's been boxing for what, 29 years? Bro, I've been boxing for 10 years. Like I said, at the end, he has... I don't know how many rounds of experience he's been number rank number one forever you know he's a world level fighter you know and a, not, not even world, a world level puncher I mean, he has 22 knockouts you know 20, 24 wins 22 knockouts you don't get that by not punching hard like that that man i tell you like that man he's he one of those dangerous fighters where you just don't want to take a risk with you know you just want to you know box box no, and you no. know catch what you do you know he wanted them dangerous fighters you didn't want to take a risk with goofy you didn't want to take a risk with him you did all you do all that talking then you get in the ring and you tuck your tail ah he hit so hard oh my god he hit so hard oh my god oh my god he don't hit harder than tank bro he was actually your size and you actually was intimidated by that then you got your world you got your world spent and your brain shook in your head when you got dropped by a tank then Jahan ingram polished you up then you get in there and, and barosa almost put your lights out and you was worried about what you was taking getting back i feel you with that will 
But I look at it like I was looking at that, and I was like, remember, he let that fight go. He let the Badu Jack fight go. You get what I'm saying? Diego Corrales fight all them years back. Him and Castillo, he let that fight continue. So it's like he knew undoubtedly that dude wasn't hurt, right? And the fact that Roley ain't landing the punches is what kills me. You know what I'm saying? Akello, what's good with it, my bro? Appreciate you pulling out. I felt like Roley was going to get caught with a left, and he did. Yeah, yeah, I'm telling you, that's his kryptonite, Akello. That's his kryptonite, bro. Cash money for me. Yeah, man, he keep doubting them, and he keep proving them wrong, man. Salute to Kenneth Sims, man, Jr., for having the fight of the night, yo. Fight of the night. Skywalker boxing, my bro. Salute to you, Brody. Appreciate you pulling up. How you feeling, bro? <laughs> what the? <laughs> he don't hit harder than Tank. Absolutely not. He don't. Absolutely not. He can run with that. If that make him sleep good at night, he get his shot, but it's messy. Right, Mike? That's what I'm saying. It's a mess. It's a mess right now. At 40, it's a mess. And it started with them letting Roley skip the line. And then Tony Weeks made it worse by making sure he got that title. Now they're going to try to force that that Tank and Ryan. I mean, not Tank and Ryan, and Ryan and Roley. I think they're going to try to make that happen. Yeah, right, right, right. Dudes be waking up talking about he don't even punch that hard. You know what I mean? Got more Nagas and Roley never spoke about him like that. Right. He capped, Ash. You know how the young kid said. You cat. He cat. We know Roley is cat. We know Roley is cat. Salute to my brother Skywalker. He got up from Barroso. He didn't make the count with Tank. Right. That's what I said, 817. See? Great minds thinking. Like I said the same thing. He ain't beat the count with Tank. You get what I'm saying? Kyle Sports, what's good, family? Appreciate you pulling up. How you feeling, bro? I ain't no Barroso beats up Mayweather Canelo Tank, ain't he? <laughs> right. Big Watch Barroso was on it, man. But again, <clears throat> I, I wanted to talk about this because a lot of people was blaming different people, right? And Andrew said Tony Weeks' whole resume is questionable, right? After this, definitely, like, his integrity is in question. And he sold he sold it. And he sold it for a picture with Roley. Yo, he really sold his integrity for a picture with Roley Romero, y'all. And it's bogus. That's the wildest thing he could have did. <laughs> I ain't never seen nothing like that in my entire life, y'all. Somebody, somebody give up their integrity, everything. Like your reputation don't matter, bro. Your rep don't matter. It don't matter. Roley is a he's a waiting knockout. He a knockout waiting to happen, AJ. A hundred percent fact. Jim, what's good, Jim? How you feeling, bro? Come right in, putting a color in the chat, man. Much love, much appreciation. Jim, how you feeling, bro? Appreciate you stopping through as always, family. And we ain't never got to box again. Well, right. well, 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 I, I already been getting these, but but but, but now it's time for yeah. you to get your just do. Sue to my God, man. Jim, uh, Roly is a geriatric fucking bass. <laughs> Mike Biggs is fool. <laughs> yeah, man, you crazy, bro. <laughs> He said you had a jury. I take the embarrassment. <laughs> Your facts, man. The whole agenda, they don't give a damn about nobody at 140. They want to tank again with a belt. How can tank not accept? That's what they hoping. That's what they hoping. But you know what, E? That's one scenario, right? And I'm glad we I love to have these bills and these conversations because nothing is one way. That's that's a possibility, right? But what about Roly just actually being wild and silly enough to be this crash test dummy? Because if he think he's one of the best at 140 because he got this title gifted to him, then he really is going to be a crash test, crash test dummy, and they're setting him up for failure. And oddly enough, I never thought I'd be saying that. I seen that sparring between him and, and, and uh, uh, Ryan. I thought Ryan would be fool against him. But after seeing how he performed against Big Watch Barroso, he in trouble. He is in trouble. He in trouble. I think Ryan beats him, and I think that's Ryan. Uh, I think Roley is Ryan's path to a title at 140. I think Roley is Ryan's path to a title at 140. Yeah, AB versus Roley seems realistic now, right? And that that's also something that's possible because they could think that Roley is food against Broner or Broner is food against Roley and it backfire. That's definitely seem more realistic now. It's crazy. It's crazy for sure. For sure. For sure. Sitting and getting integrity over a pair of titties. I'm telling you, they never get to touch. That's a fact. Facts, ass. You see it. Salute to my bro, Jim, man. Much love and appreciation, bro. Really talking like he ran into one of them guys. I'm telling you. Yeah, right. Yeah, he, he, he acting like he ran into, like, the killer of the division, bro. Nah, he's just one of those guys. I tell you. What I say? What'd you say, Cuzzo? He said, the whole country strong. <laughs> Moore says, the whole country strong. Yeah, nah. You, your chin just ain't strong. Your chin just ain't that, bro. Nah, nah, I'm going to say it. 
your chin wasn't that big first thing big watch barroso touched you with you went down nah bro you not the guy you're not the guy you and bullet playing around they're gonna get you slumped i'm telling you you get your ass beat playing around Big Big Watch Barroso was put came in there. He wasn't playing with you. Put them fist of cups on, bro. He put them fist of cups on him. Hold on, I got one more clip from Ro Rolando, man. Ro, he talking like that. He just woke back up and being put to sleep. <laughs> right, baby, baby girl. That's right. Take slept slept slumped him. Nah, man. I'm telling you, shake, Tank got to hit him again. Tank got to punch him again because he got to shake the brain back right. I'm telling you, the way Tank can custom. He'll never be the same, bro. He's timid. He's unsure of himself. He don't really like to engage no more. He's not as rough and wild. He's not as confident. He's not as outspoken no more. See what Tank did? You did all that barking for a Javante Tank Davis fight. You got your brain rattled, and you're not the same guy. You are not the same guy. Will the real Roly Romero please stand up? Please, bro. Where are you at? Because this ain't the guy. This is this guy right here is the artist formerly known as Roly. This ain't him. This ain't him, bro. This ain't this ain't Roly right here. Yeah, as we said, the Bill Swellers are strong, man. <laughs> Dr. Mark Flawless Mentality. Salute to the to the OG Dr. Mark. How you feeling today? Appreciate you stopping, dude. Are we trying to keep Roly safe with that belt? Because it's some killers at 140. Or AJ, I think they're gonna crash dummy him. I think they're gonna throw him in there. I, Kurt, what's going on? Kurt, how you feeling, bro? Stop by tank is paying off for these fighters, right? But I think I think the fact that they will be selling us a lie if they really try to build behind Roly because they think they can sell some tickets. I think they're gonna crash, crash test dummy him out. I think they're gonna put them in there with somebody that's that's gonna beat them that they really can sell, and then they're gonna just allow him to be what he is, Roly. And he's not even that these days. He's not even that these days, so he in trouble. Right? Yo, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, bro. He did not want. No more of this dude, yo. Big Watch Barroso laid the the hands on him. He laid he laid them hands up on him. He laid them hands upon him, man. And he did not want no more, man. Salute to my bro Jim in that cash app, man. Always showing love, man. Much love and appreciation, bro. Let me get my bro to adjust. And we ain't never got quick. a box again. Well, right. well, well, well. I already been getting these, back, but but but, but now it's time yeah. for you to get your just dude. Salute to my bro Jim, man. Always showing love. Appreciate you, bro. Yeah, man. He didn't. He didn't want no more, bro. Teach was good with it. Teach. Appreciate you pulling up. What's good with it? Let really try to get too aggressive with Super L Matias. He ain't gonna do it, and that's why I say he fight Matias. He 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 getting smoked. He fight Regis. He getting smoked. I, I don't even think he. I don't think he beat Tio. He don't even beat Tio. I don't think he beats Ryan. It's crazy how tables turn. I'm thinking Ryan is food at 140. Roly is the real food at 140. I'm about to make a short video with the real food at 140. Please stand up. Is it Roly, T.O., or Ryan? Who is the real food at 140, y'all? Is it Roly, T.O., or Ryan? Who? Which one of these goofies? Matter of fact, this is the, route, the Mount Rushmore of food at 140 because all three of them are food. None of them are top fighters. T.O. parading to be a top fighter. Ryan Garcia, you almost got your ribs broke by Tank. You not a top fighter. Roly, you just got your ass beat again. You are not a top fighter. Y'all are the Mount Rushmore of food at 140 because all y'all looking sus. All y'all looking like some shit right now. Every last one of y'all. All three of y'all. The dynamic trio. Dynamic trio of fools. Roly, you a fool. Ryan, you a fool. T.O., you are a fool. You know what they all got in common? They all delusional and they all took L's. All of them. Goofy dudes, man. A short video coming up, man. It's Mount Rushmore of idiots. These, these dudes, bro. Roly, man. You out here talking like you really earned it. You didn't earn it, man. You can't talk like that. Maybe that's why you praising, buddy, and I respect that. But nah, bro. Y'all the Mount Rushmore of idiots. Y'all some delusional human beings, bro. Neither of you dudes are in touch with reality. T.O. still think he was undisputed. I don't care what nobody say. If he is not in the history books and in the books, I'm not running with it. I don't care what no rule nobody explain. If they don't etch that man in them books like they got Devin Haney, he never was undisputed. This goofy dude still talking about being a two-time undisputed. And when he was, in fact, never was one, he pisses me off. 
Delusional. His father think he the best fighter in the world. Delusional. Roley think he a superstar. Delusional. Roley think he sell tickets like Tank. Delusional. Ryan is bogus as hell, period, for thinking that he going to compete at 140 and do well. You will not. You will get hurt. The same way you think Tank hurt you, that wasn't even at 40. Wait till you get up there. Wait till you get up there when them dudes is bigger and they maulers. You lucky Tank was patient. He, he sniped you and clipped you and got you out of there. You lucky ain't one of them come forward bruiser brawler dudes or you would have really been in trouble. You was in trouble either way with Tank, but you get my point. You're going to go up there to 140 where them dudes don't really care about being hit, where they where they dogs, where all they do is come forward and punch, and you're going to be up there getting your ass whooped. Whooped. Why? Because you think you're a superstar and you're not. You think you that and you're not, and it's, it's going to show. Roly, you still think you that and you got your ass beat and you still run around here parading like you some real champion when we all seen this dude give you your belt. He gave you a knockdown, he gave you a knockout, and then they gave you a belt. A fucking trifecta, bro. Man, they gave, he gave him a knockdown, gave him a TKO, and then they gave you a belt. Christmas came early for Roly. What month is we in, mate? God damn, we ain't nowhere near Christmas. Christmas came early for this guy. Trifecta, they gave you a knockdown. Nope, that's not enough. Let me give him a TKO. Nope, you know what? We're going to put the icing on the cake. Take this belt while you at it. Man, I'm telling you, bro. Tony Weeks, you would have took a two-piece from me if I was Ishmael Barroso, and I would have blamed it on the language barrier. I would have blamed it on anything. I, I don't know what was going on. I know I like English. Soon as they say something to me, you even you, you, you get somebody to speak in Spanish, tell me that I'm going to speak to them in English. I'm dead serious. Boy, I'd be a whole fool. I'd be a whole fool in there. Boy, man, the last thing y'all do is get to the bottom of why I punched Tony Weeks in his face, because I would never tell you. I'll tell you, I punched you in the face for the same reason you thought I couldn't continue this fight. Fair is fair. Salute to my bro, Jim, man. Much love again, man. He said, for the family, Miss Just Do, Boxing, Undercard, Fate, and Mike Kirkland. Much love to my bro, Jim. Always showing love, man. Back in that super chat. Appreciate you, bro. Salute to all the family in the building. Y'all make sure y'all punch that like button and sub to and the And we ain't never got a box again. Well, right. well, 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 I already been getting these back, but, 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 but now it's time different. for yeah. you to get your Just Do. Salute to my guy, Jim. Uh, HJ, what's good with it, fam? Shit, do that. Sims would have pushed Roly though. Yeah, he would have. Chicken talk, what's good, left? How you feeling, bro? Appreciate you pulling up. What right about Haney? Yeah, man. So off of this, man, I'm going I'm to sh shift gears a little bit, man. I'm going to play this last clip from Roly, and I'm going to shift gears. BBO Boxing, what's good, family? Yeah, I would have blamed, yo, BC, I would have blamed it on the, the language barrier, bro. I would have said I don't know what was happening. I, Tony Weeks would have wore the most vicious two-piece that he would have ever received in the history of refereeing, bro. I'm trying to tell you something good, bro. I would have pushed his fade back two inches with a two-piece. Mustache off his lip and fade pushed back at least two inches, yo. Going to stop my fight when I'm beating somebody up. And you done gave him a knockdown. Then you're going to give him the TKO. Then y'all gave him the belt. Now the bet he is feeling like the king right now. Look at him. Lip all busted. Goofy looking. Sitting up here praising his man power. News flash. Barroso. I wonder what he feels that Barroso say he can't punch. I wonder how he feel about that. Wonder what he'd be jock riding if he realized Bar Barroso said that he couldn't feel his punches. Hey, he's, yeah, that's what he's. Old man. Old man Quillez said he couldn't feel your punches, bro. He about the same. He's about the same age as dude from the corner store in the movie Juice. Old man Keyless, man. He, that, that's who he just fought last night. That man fought dude from Juice, y'all. He literally fought old man. Man, he fought dude from Juice last night, y'all. I swear he did. I'm telling y'all he did, bro. Obloma, whoops, Devin. I ain't mad at it, Krypton, man. And again, over here, bro, everybody can root for the fighters. There's no wrong answers. If you rock with somebody, salute them and rock with them. Loma got a real chance. He's a, he's a dangerous. He's a real threat. I feel like Dev. Got what it takes to pull it off, but blessing to the family. Salute to you, uh, BVO man. Blessing to you, Brody. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. I'm telling you, bro. He fought. They he fought dude from Juice. I'm telling you, getting stopped by Tank gets you a title shot. I'm telling you, it's bogus, right? It, it, it works you. It gets you. It gets you. It get it, it get it done for you, don't it? It get it done for you. The people that are saying that you are fighting with nobody. It, it, it was complicated. No, 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 no. They don't know shit about boxing. They, 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 they don't know because they don't know look, who he is. Yeah. Look, but, look. But, but like, look how quick. See that? that I, I just want people to know. 
I'm learning as I go along in this game, yo. I'm not the I'm not the greatest interviewer of all time, but what I'm not gonna do is kiss no ass, man. Grown ass men shouldn't be kissing no ass. Uh, what you got to say? What you got to say about the people that say that say you're not fight with nobody? That they don't know shit about boxing. Shut up. You don't you don't even know what you're saying. What, what, say it again. Come again, buddy. I didn't hear you, sir. What do you say? People are saying what? Nobody is even talking about Roley opponents because he's not no feature. He's not no fighter like that. He's not nobody that we, we sit around and talk about. The only reason we talk about him right now is because he got a gift decision. and He was getting his ass beat. That's the only reason we here. We're not here because he got some amazing talent. No disrespect to him. His trainer won't teach him, so he ain't going to get no better. And now he lacks the confidence that it takes for him to even be his own self. The last thing Roley could afford to be, oddly enough, is anybody but himself. And he damn sure wasn't Roley Saturday night. You would have had a better outing. You would have been more aggressive. You would have been willing to take shots a little bit. You are no longer Roley no more. I don't know who the hell you are. You 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 about to be a crash test dummy because I'm pretty sure they're about to crash out with you, bro. You're not. They're not about to do nothing. They're not about to do you no real favors. The only favor they're going to do for you is they got you the tank fight. That's the biggest fight you could have ever got in your life, right? Right? They just cheated and got you a title, right? You think the, the you're going to have to pay the piper soon? You ain't did nothing for boxing. Boxing is putting out for you. You don't think they about to do something? You about to do something for them? You about to get in there and get smoked probably by golden boy Oscar Garcia. I mean, Ryan Garcia. That's what you about to do. They done got you a, the biggest fight that you could have got in your life with Tank. You got smoked, so what? You got paid. Then they turn around, get you a title shot. Then they give you the title. They give you the title, they give you a knockdown, give you a TKO, give you the title. You got some more money. Now, now you got now you got to now you got to you got to get back. You got to get back, man. Don't be surprised if they put him in there with somebody and he get his ass beat. I'm trying to tell you, they're about to get Ryan Garcia shot at Roley, and Roley gonna get beat up by Ryan Garcia when all this time for all these years we was thinking it was Roley that would have whipped Ryan Garcia ass. And watch, it's gonna be the other way around. Ryan Garcia got more heart and more confidence than Roley, and he's going to get his ass beat. Watch. Jay Grant, what's good with it, fam? Yeah, man. I, I came back when I seen in the ring. He was a shell of himself. And, and the original, the best version of Roley needed a lot of work. A shell of himself, you don't have a chance at 140. And that's no disrespect. That's me being real. You have no shot. You have no shot at 140 like this. You have no shot at 140 with them dogs. And you got a title, so you're food, bro. You're food. T.O., foo, Roly, foo, Ryan, foo. Know what I'm saying? But the, before they feed Ryan to somebody, they're going to put Ryan in there with you. They already big in the fight up, bro. They already big in the fight up. For sure, I just want to know. Oh, oh, oh. Are you talking to him? Salute to my bro, God Body, man. God Body was good with it, bro. Boy, forget to teach Roly to turn his punches. Dude, be trying to throw elbows all type. You get what I'm saying? He getting his, he got in here Saturday night, y'all. He ain't even want to be himself no more. He ain't even want to be himself no more. Dad gets done versus Loma. There's no other fight to make besides Tank. And Tank has no other opponent that provides a bigger fight than Dad. I say go for it, bro. Look, I ain't creating no scenarios where these fights don't happen. And I swear, the way it's been handled, like, I just want to see it. I'm with you. I just want to see it. Whatever gets us to fights, uh, 817, I'm, I'm with you a million percent. Spanish dude with black hair. Skin doesn't care. <laughs> right, right. All facts, Ash. All facts. All facts. Salute to my bro, Big Dog Willie, and that super chat. Roly one fair square is bonus KO facts. <laughs> I salute to my bro, Big Dog Willie, and, and we ain't never gonna box again. Well, right. well, well, well. I already been getting these, back, but but but, but now it's time for yeah. you to get your just do. Man, salute to my bros, man. Uh, eight one seven be cooking. I'm about to drop a link, man. See if Brody want to come up. He always cooking in them comments, bro. Salute to 817. Mike, salute to my bro Mike in that cash app, man. Much love, much and appreciation. And we ain't never got a box again. Well, right. well, 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 I already been getting these back, but but but, but now it's time yeah. for you to get your just do. And salute to my bro Akello, man. Always showing love in that cash app, man. Much love, much appreciation, bro. And we ain't never got a box again. Well, right. well, 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 I already been getting these back, but but but, but now it's time yeah. for you to get your just do. Salute to y'all bros, man. Salute to everybody supporting this grind. Mike, Akello, Jim. Salute to all y'all, man. Y'all the real MVPs, man. Appreciate y'all bros. Ant, what's good with it? Ant, L Dub Boxing, what's good with it, my bro? How you feeling? They moving it to 140. They're going to fight each other. No, yo, Ant, you see the play. 
Remember, I just called these dudes the Mount Rushmore of fools. They're going to put two of them dudes in there with each other, I believe, and they're going to try to get the other guy the title. Roley already got his opportunity that he didn't deserve. They already did him a favor getting him a tank fight. To get him a tank fight and a title fight. They, they, they Boxing been doing for Roley. Roley ain't been doing for boxing. No disrespect. That talking ain't going to do it. That talking ain't going to do it. You about to pay the piper and you're going to be put in there with somebody that's going to put you on your ass or beat your ass and you ain't going to have that title long, bro. You are fooled at 140. 140 is not safe for you dudes that want to halfway pretend that y'all like boxing. Roly, you can't pretend at 140. Your mouth ain't going to do it. That's just going to get you punched in your mouth up there. Ryan, you can talk all you want on social media. You can keep doing body shot challenges, hitting that damn Cobra brag. Are explaining to people how you thought how you thought you could have would have should have beat tank all you want but that 140 you sir them excuses them stories of how you could have would have should have beat tank ain't gonna work you're not gonna work you're not gonna last up there tia fimo i think the buck stops when josh taylor whoops your ass what is it the 10th of june i think you get your ass beat june 10th i think you're gonna come out there and be competitive i think you you understand the challenge that i think is josh taylor but i think you mentally you hold yourself back as a fighter you don't understand that you need somebody outside of your pops to get you to that next level. Y'all ran, y'all, y'all, y'all relationship ran y'all course in terms of success. And as a result, I don't think we'll we'll see you be a champion at 140, in my opinion. Maybe you surprise us and beat Josh Taylor, but I don't think so. Mount Rushmore of fools and fooled at 140 is Tiafimo Lopez, Roly Romero, or the artists formerly known, and Ryan Garcia. Them two, them three dudes got a lot of attention on them right now for different reasons. But it's all smoke and mirrors. No disrespect to none of them. Ryan, you need to take boxing more serious. Roly, you need to shut up and go get a real trainer that actually want to teach you how to perfect your craft because Bullet ain't doing it. Tiafimo, leave your pops alone or put him to the side and go get a real trainer or you're going to get your ass beat. It's that simple. It's that simple. It's no longer y'all can pretend to play boxing and act like y'all y'all them dudes. None of y'all are them dudes. None of y'all. Tia Fimo, you starting to look like a guy that's best days is behind him. Ryan Garcia, the, the jury is still out on you. We don't know yet. We don't know yet. But Roly, the jury been out on you. Jackson Marina has whooped your ass. They gave you that fight. You get what I'm saying? Tank smoked you. They couldn't give you that fight. You get what I'm saying? Barroso was beating you up. They gave you a knockdown, gave you a TKO and a belt. That'll never happen again. Uh, you fool from now. You fool from here on out. Tony Weeks need to be held accountable. He, him, his bad decision making, that badass feet and that big ass mustache all need to be held accountable. He, how they did Big Watch Barroso Saturday night. That man went out there and I'm hearing he might be older than 40. That's crazy. This man got beat up by a senior citizen and yeah, in boxing, the world of boxing, the business of boxing helped it. That's the shit that make me mad because then you got people that ain't going to want to watch the sport no more because of decisions like that with Roley. He didn't earn it. That's all I'm saying. This is no slight, no diss, no disrespect to Roley. You didn't earn it is all I'm saying. You are not a guy that's improving. You are a guy that's actually getting worse. You look like a shell of yourself in the ring, and that's scary because the, the, the best version of you still need a ton of work. Now you less than what you was before after getting knocked out by Tank? I don't know, bro. I don't see you lasting at 140 unless they give you a bunch of gimme fights. And like I said, I think they're trying to get Ryan Garcia a title. And this is this is Ryan Garcia's path to a title. Or even, should I say, even a Tia Fimo, if he really going to get a belt. Because he ain't, I don't think he beats Tyler. Mill City Boxing, what's good, family? How you feeling, bro? Facts, the three musketeers, man. I'm telling you, dumb, dumb, and dumbest. Know what I'm saying? Dumb, dumb, and dumbest. Sleeper was good with it. Then yeah, the fix was in. I just hate it, man, because it, it, it's, it's crappy. Like, what y'all going to do with Roley? Y'all can't sell us this. Roly, y'all trying to sell us Roly will be selling us a lie, bro. That's not going to work in boxing. It's only so long you can sell this lie. How many people you think you can put them in there and do and give them them type of decisions? How many people, bro? We're not buying that, bro. You get what I'm saying? Facts. Bro, I'm right with you, 817. I'm right with you, bro. Right. Just can't support it. Right. Because if we get to call out this play from a mile away, nah, bro. Y'all jerk one dude just so y'all can dupe us into supporting some more garbage or another fixed up opportunity. That's garbage, man. The right man should have been Barroso. Y'all should have let that 12 rounds play out because respectfully, it looked like neither guy was going to get knocked out. Y'all should have just let it play out. But I know the business of boxing had other plans and that's what the people are mad at. I can't I can't argue with that. Sleeper was good with it, fam. Set up a tank. 
I th- yeah, I hear that, but I think the thing that the roadblock for that is Tank been active, right? I think the next thing for him is a vacation. So I think he'd be out of the picture at least for a little while, realistically speaking. I think, and um, I think um, more so you hear them pushing, or at least I do. I hear Ryan Garcia and, and Roly Romero. I hear that. I'm hearing that. Uh, let's see if they push it. Justin, salute, fam. Appreciate you pulling up. How you feeling? Appreciate you stopping through. Y'all smash that like button, sub to the channel for your boy. We're going to keep rolling, man. Let me roll to the bottom, y'all. Roly sucks and Ron sucks, too. It's all about the money. Yeah, unfortunately for them, bro, it's, it's going to be all about that bread. It's going all it's gonna be all about that bread. It's going to be all about that bread with them, man. Uh, it's unfortunate, but it is. It is. It really is. Did I play this yet? Hold on. I don't think I did. Did I? To the people that are saying oh, that yeah, you are fighting with good. nobody. It, it, it was complicated. No, 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 no. don't no, know no. shit about boxing. They, 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 they don't know because they don't know who he is. Yeah. But, 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 like I said, you didn't in the know boxing world, was. like the boxing you didn't world, know who he was. they know who? The, the the real the, the people in boxing know who he is. Yeah. And like I said, man, he's been in the sport for a long time, and people know who he is. Hey, Just casuals don't know who he is. But you don't know who he is. Oh, man, 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 way man, harder. Man. Like when I mean way harder, I mean like when I mean when he, punch. He like when, when when I when I mean way harder, I mean way harder. Like yo, you recovered from his punch, Goofy. You can't make nobody believe that lie. You only respect him like that because you knew you couldn't beat him. As you had him nine rounds, you was getting beat up. That's why. That's why you knew you couldn't beat him. You weren't. You couldn't lie to the world and say I beat him all six rounds like you did with Tank and got slapped. Man, this dude is unbelievable. Talking about the, the boxing world, no, you don't know. You don't know who Barroso is. The first time you said Barroso name was probably in his post fight presser. Goofy, get out of here. You didn't know who he was, and you fought like it. Scary ass dude. Out here talking about Tank ran from you. Then you get in there with a senior citizen. No disrespect. You get in there with with your senior, with your elder, and you 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 scared to throw throw hands with him. That man put that old man scrimp up on you, boy. He put that old man scrimp up on you, bro. And you ain't want no smoke with that man. Out here, you had track shoes on and everything. Jump. He was jumping off both feet trying to get away from this dude, bro. Jumping off of both feet. You got the nerd, ah, ah, tank, tank. He hits, I mean, I say way harder than tank. I mean, way harder. Yeah, he hit so hard. He hit so much harder than tank that when tank hit me, I got up and couldn't beat the count. But when he hit me, I got up, beat the count, and continued to fight long enough for them to cheat for me. That's how hard tank, that's how much harder than tank he hit. Goofy, why weren't you able to continue to fight with tank? And you ain't go nine rounds with tank either. Stupid. And Barroso was laying them, hey, putting them paws on you too, boy. Putting them paws on you, man. I don't like when, don't lie, Roly, because I was rooting for him, man. I really was rooting for this dude. <laughs> I hate Roly. <Roley. laughs> Ryan going to get that WBA strap and play keep away with it. Hey, Kurt, telling you that's going to be his claim to fame. He going to say he was world. He was a world champion. Hey, to go fight side. I would have been pissed off. Shawa and again, worst lips in boxing. <laughs> uh, look at this goofball. I'm telling you, Jay Grant. Hey, we got another Kurt in the building. Salute to Curtis Jones, man. Appreciate you stopping through, man. Kurt, another Kurt. Salute to you, bro. Appreciate you stopping through. Agree. Can't be none. He can't. And no, this is no disrespect to him. Again, I blame, I blame this on his trainer, y'all. I blame that he's a prisoner of his loyalty, but his trainer is not teaching him the right things. And you can tell by when his trainer speaks about the things that they work on and what they're doing. You can tell he's not training them. And, and how is how are you going to go out there and box a guy when your trainer says he trained you for KOs? He don't train you to box rounds. He said this number of times out his mouth. Why would you go out there and try to box with Big Watch Barroso and then get beat up? Come on, man. You tell me that ain't a confused... Your trainer say you don't. So why was you trying to box this dude? Because you damn sure wasn't going for the kill. Where was all this wolfing? And you had where this energy at that you had for Tank? Let me find out the only reason you was tough because you thought Tank being shorter than you really mattered and was going to have an impact on how the fight played out. Let me find out that you that simple that you really think like a kid. Just when you taller than somebody, that means you bigger and stronger and you better than them. Let me find out you really thought because you had a couple inches on Tank, you thought you was going to beat his ass. Then you get in there with Big Watch Barroso. That's your size, and you don't want to engage in fisticuffs. Now you're a track star. Now you're jumping off both of your feet to get away from him. That's why he popped you in your mouth and got your lip looking like that. 
man stop bringing tank up that's you dude's problem when y'all lose the tank just let it be what it is you gotta find ways to bring him up when he yo he just not nah, he fresh off a whole nut he done knocked out a whole nother undefeated fighter and you still talking about him ah yeah he hit way harder than tank yeah okay the only one believe that is you silly silly boy silly dude man roly b dog what's good with it b dog how you feeling bro have more success if he used his usual stop 100 i agree with that b dog that's what i was saying the fact that roly wasn't roly was 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 weird to watch y'all the last thing i expected the roly to do is get in there and tuck his tail and if this was a dog fight he definitely tucked his tail and he curved out he did not come to fight all that mouth you got you did not come to fight and they saved you bro from the inevitable which was you getting beat up because you wasn't about to mount no comeback you couldn't figure dude out you didn't know what to do and they saved you that's why he jumped in there the first opportunity he, he had he jumped in there he knew what he was doing hey he can't remember what round he lost <laughs> right right you know what i'm saying salute the big dog willie back in that super chat style you hey, know holy <laughs> Roddy to did you know the system is against the play <laughs> <laughs> Rose scale was compared to Roy Jones Jr. Pure fact. Salute to my my bro, Big Dog Willie, and that super much love. And we ain't never got a box again. Well, right. well, well, well. I already been getting these, back, but but but, but now it's time for yeah. you to get your just do. Salute to my bro, Big Dog Willie, man. Much love and appreciation, Big Dog. Yeah, man. Bro. Yeah, they they is they is different, man. These are special talents we got in the sport of boxing, bro. Special, special talent. These are some special, special guys, y'all. These are some special, special guys, man. Tank hit him so hard that he numbs them. Yeah, facts, bro. Barroso was pushing Roley back with the punches to the body. Roley looked uncomfortable. Uh, G. Royal, he looked uncomfortable the whole fight. All facts that the Nile fighters have after getting stopped by Tank is sickening. And salute the big dog, Willie, again, man. Much love and appreciation, my bro. Man, I can't believe Roley, man. He need that slop, man, slobber towel. <laughs> that especially after getting his lip all busted up, AJ. G5 Jet, what's good with it, Fizzle? Appreciate you pulling up, man. Salute to you, man. Say so fresh off the clock. Don't work too hard over there. That's what they so they think. They smell the salt. Yeah, they got they got to get that salt. Now they don't know what's going on. Yeah, yeah, looking like them running fighters. Right, Justin, you get what I'm saying? All that talk, he was talking, right? And I hate the running word. I hate the running word in boxing, but we going right off the dude's logic. A tank was running, right? What was you doing? Because you was jumping off both feet to get away from this dude. Both feet. <laughs> both feet. You get what I'm saying? But he's jumping off both feet to get away from Barroso. Funk Master, it's not just PBC, though. It's not just PBC. That's kind of why I was here today again, too. I can't just say it's not them at all. Like, every, every entity has has had a favorable decision that benefited them financially. I'll say that. And that's just being real and that's just being fair. I'm not a guy that singles out just the PBC. I just call it out. If it was the PBC, you know, the zone, the top rank, it could be anybody, right? I'm just going to call this out. And again, more importantly, like I know it's easy to say, like it's a paper trail, the move benefits the PBC for them to do this, right? The script it this way and things like that, right? But I ultimately got to blame Tony Weeks, the guy that sold his integrity for whatever price for whatever he gained from it you get what i'm saying i think when your integrity comes with a price you, you that's a very compromising situation you no longer belong in the sport you get what i'm saying when you see it be blatant like this like we can blame pbc but we gotta blame the, the shot caller the guy that actually pulls the plug and sit up in front of us or s s exit out the back door or exit stage left without even answering nothing you get what i'm saying oh that machine <laughs> <laughs> you stupid, bro. <laughs> I'm telling you, bro. Delusional. He delusional, bro. He is. Tate Tate, a real queen of MMA combat. Salute, queen. How you feeling? Yep. Pull the top, top skin special. And again, I only say that to be real. Like, I get it. Like, people feel like right now, this is the, this look like the PBC, but I feel like I think all entities have had moves that favor them financially. You get what I'm saying? I think we've seen bad decisions on each side of the spectrum right regardless of the network and me personally i speak against it as a whole i don't care who's shoveling the bad decision down our throat is bad for boxing right so i'll call it out accordingly it's not a person who's not a diss to pbc this is not a good look because it's their fight it's their fighters you get what i'm saying so i get that but um they just it, it's a bad look bro it's a bad look it's a bad look about to be kicked off showtime so they want to have a platform that i uh, uh that that i don't know about i mean that you might have information i don't i don't have that information bro but i, I like i feel like look 
all entities are good for boxing that provide good fights, right? They all give us what we want at some point, but inside of giving us what we want, they give us a lot of what we want, don't want and don't deserve. So that's kind of what I was speaking to today. It's no personals, whether it's be with Tony Weeks or Roley. Roley did what you were supposed to do in terms of just fighting the fight, but you know you didn't deserve this victory. And I'm tired of dudes sitting up here talking delusional like it's a chance you thought you was winning. You didn't win. You didn't win and you wasn't winning. And I just like real people. I just like real people, real, you know what I mean? Real responses. I mean, real feedback. And I think they they feeling it. They setting this man up for failure. You know what I'm saying? Look at Suleiman last week, changing the referee's call during a fight. That wasn't PBC. That's a fact. Appreciate you adding that, Kurt. That is a fact. That is a fact. That's all, all I try to say is like, I want to kind of like just open people's minds a bit more and just help people understand. It's not one, one entity that's scot-free and never like, being responsible for giving us something that's that's crazy. You get what I'm saying? They they've all done it. They've all done it to us at one time or another. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, it's like PBC get the most. I hear PBC get more blame for boxing being bad than anything. PBC and Al Heyman. I don't know why that is, but I think they've all, you know, done things that we can question or don't don't particularly favor or don't like you get what i'm saying it's a solo mission out of full insurrection just do saying that's why yo i'm telling you bro tony weeks and look yeah when when you got a guy that'll get up on his social media and uh, again before the fight yeah i know i could be reaching maybe other people could be reaching but when you put this on your social media and then you say everybody make mistakes and you go out there and pull one of the biggest what, what had to be a mistake so even if this post right here had nothing to do with that decision you made won't you at least come out and, and ask for the forgiveness because you damn sure made a mistake by giving this man this title today and allowing him to be able to run around and call himself a champion. You get what I'm saying? So it was, the, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It, it was, yeah, it was a couple of them, a couple of them dudes. Man, I always blame the, the individual. And again, look, right. <clears throat> I was saying this earlier. I understand the thinking when people saying the PBC, the platform, I get it. I'm not even arguing that. I'm not arguing at all. I'm not even telling you you're wrong. I'm just giving you a different perspective, right? Ultimately, me as a man, I'm going to blame the guy. Like, for, for instance, right, if somebody pays somebody to do something, right, that's messed up, that lacks integrity, and, and, and you get what I'm saying, and respect, and it throws all that stuff, all your morals and principles down the drain, right? Somebody can pay you, right? They're scumbag for, for, for paying you to do something, right? They're scumbag for not being able to do it themselves, right? But the person that actually commits the act is the ultimate scumbag because their integrity comes with, with a price, which is what pisses me off. Get what I'm saying? You're not going to sell. You're not going to get me to sell myself out when I got a, a respectable reputation in the sport of boxing. Like, it's no, you're not going to convince me they gave them that much money if that was even the case for him to sell out that way because that's a sellout move and it's either incompetence or or intentional which one is it and incompetence almost will mean like he didn't even know his job he know what his job is you either instruct it or you being a damn asshole because you wanted it to go a certain way it's some some type of explanation need to be you know what i mean we need we need an explanation bro we need an explanation you get what i'm saying well no damn well he wasn't winning right Heyman's complexion just do yeah yeah right 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 Right, it definitely right, 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 Kurt. Don Trey was good with the fan. He said, We know why, just right. Yeah, really goofy ass up there. Oh, yeah, let me finish playing this. Uh, y'all, let me finish playing this. Salute to the fan. Y'all, make sure y'all smash that like button, sub to the channel if you're new. We're gonna keep rocking like for, a rock. For a minute, he was hitting yeah. your elbow, your arm, your forearm, your hand. Every punch felt like a damn rock. I'm telling what, you, what were the adjustments you made to that eventually got the knockout? You know, just be patient, you know. Pa patient, you know, like I said, slowly. I systematically broke him down, landing a jab to bar, landing jab hard, hurt, hurt him a bit, hurt him a bit more, hurt him a bit more, crack him right, boom, 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 to the point where it's like when I finally did get him, you know, he, you know, I got him, you know. No, 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 sir, sir, sir. You sitting up there with that, you sitting up there with that look, and you lying, bro. You didn't get him. They got him for you. You need to see, watch the replay. They got him for you, Roly. I know it hurt. If you go watch that fight and you could tell me undeniably that you was landing punches when that fight got stopped, you a different type of liar and you are a different type of dangerous dude. You didn't get them. They got them for you, bro. They got them. You the knockdown, you didn't get that either. Newsflash, they got them right there too. They got them for you again right there. Tony Weeks got them, matter of fact. Not they. Tony Weeks got them for you. 
You didn't get nothing. Tony Weeks got him. Same way he got that badass fade and that big ass mustache. Man, he got him. He got he got big watch Barroso. He got him with the knockdown. That was a push down. You get him, he got him with the TKO in the night that wasn't a TKO. Bro wasn't even getting punched, y'all. Like that's that's crazy. That's why I say that's why I revisited this, y'all. He he bogus. They did that in front of everybody's face. You got millions of people watching this shit, man. You out here talking about you, you got him. You know, we got got. We got got. Barroso got got. He got got. They got him. They didn't get you. They got him for you. He got got. You didn't get shit. You got gifted a knockdown. You got gifted a TKO. And then they gifted you your belt. Now you up here talking rubbish. As them UK folk be saying. Rubbish, bro. You talking BS. What do they call it? Bullocks? This boy ain't talking about nothing, man. No disrespect to Roly. Notice. I said all of this without even tearing them down skillfully as a fighter. You tell me how many people that to do it this way. I ain't even say, I ain't even get into if I think he a good or bad fighter or not. I think he, I think he need plenty of work. I think he, he, he looked like a shell of himself Saturday night. He like a dude that's worried about what's coming back and he's not fully committing to what he want to throw himself. He looks scary. He looks scary. And you look like a track star I'm talking about tank ran. You ran, you ran from Barros. You ran from a 50 year old fighter. A senior, bro. He get this. He get discounts that you can't get because you ain't old enough. And you he beat you up. You ran around the ring talking. About, I just waited. And I waited. And I was patient. And I got him. You didn't get nothing. You didn't get Tony Weeks. Got him. He made sure he got him. Man, you sitting there with that look on your face talking about what you got. No, you got that belt. You got that. You got a gift. You got that. You got you got credit for a knockdown that you didn't create. Yeah, you got that. I got him. You didn't get nothing, bro. You about to get guy. Bro crazy, man. Roly something different, bro. And I ain't even mad at him, yo. It's just, it's just, I got to set it straight. I got to call it what it is, man. You, you didn't earn nothing. You didn't earn nothing. Tony Weeks, ban him from all refereeing, bro. Since his bad fade, baggy referee jacket wearing ass, don't want to give us no explanation. Ban him from all fights. Don't let that man referee no more fights. Send his ass to the to the to the barbershops to referee fights. Man, get him out of here. Man, send him back to the ballrooms and shit like that when he first started out. Send him back to them events. Don't let him referee no meaningful fights. Show him what it feel like, bro. Man, nah, man. When people be fighting in them halls with the movable chairs, send Tony Weeks back to them type of events and see if he like it. Since he, since he in the business of playing with people, let's play with him. Let's have him go referee them type of fights. Go send his ass back to the set. Matter of fact, go make him referee street brawls and see how he like that. Since he out here playing with people, we let's play with him. Nah, man, that's bogus, man. Weeks, you bogus. You and that fade. Mustache, too. Y'all all bogus, bro. Nah, man, you no explanation. You just get to skedaddle your way to the back room and don't explain to nobody why you stopped the fight like that. You got everybody... They don't know if they want to blame Floyd Mayweather, Al Heyman, PBC, Tony Weeks, Roley. They don't know. Everybody can't know. Everybody's not at fault. All of that stuff, that other stuff, even though it sounds like it's possible with the PBC this and that, right? I get it. But undeniably, yo, you know what we all can prove without having to guess? What referee was in the ring that night? That was Tony Weeks. Who stopped the fight? Tony Weeks. Now, Mayweather, not Al Heyman, not the PBC. Ho ass Tony Weeks did it. I want to be clear. Let's put the onus on the right person. I don't care, man. Somebody, you, I don't care who paid him. I don't know. He did it. He didn't have to do it. Man, he, what about air betting him? He should have air bet him then. And they, they would have paid me. I wouldn't have did it. I would have let the fight play out. And then I would have told him to get it back in blood. How dare y'all insult me by thinking I'm going to put my integrity on the line for a bag for Roly Romero to win a fight, knowing that that ain't going to even last long. How many title defenses you think he going to have successfully? Before somebody take that title right up off. Nah, bro. I'm not selling my integrity for Roly Romero. Yo. No disrespect, bro. I'm not doing it. I'm not selling my not selling my damn integrity for Roly Romero. What I look like? You bogus. Send his ass back, man. Send him, send him, send him, send him back to the street brawls or something, man. Make him referee fights, the little kid fights outside in a park somewhere. See if he like that. Since he since he in the business of playing with people. Since he think we stupid. Man, go referee them kids' fights and tell them, you know what I mean? Go go stop kids' fights since you ain't here breaking up stuff. Since You know what I mean? Come on, man. Get him out of here. Wrap him up. Pack him up. Get him up out of here, bro. Get him up out of here.
Yeah, um, I mean, I'm mad at the, the fact that we even got to speculate that somebody could have paid him. But I'm even more mad that he sat on TV where we all could see. I got four eyes, damn it. I seen what he did. I seen after I watched the replay that Roly ain't land no punches in that exchange and they just stopped the fight. Get what I'm saying? Get y'all asses on, man. They was pouring that expensive drinks on Tony. <laughs> I'm telling you. Tony, man, you sold, you sold, man. You sold. And it might have been premeditated. Let me get let me get Roly up off of here, y'all. I'm tired of looking at him. Let me get him up off of here, y'all. There might have been premeditated because he had Tony Weeks had this up too, man. He had this up. Mistakes are always forgivable. It's the one that has courage to admit them. Tony Weeks, by your own post that you but you believe in this. You didn't. This is Bruce Bruce Lee thoughts, but you was feeling this in the moment enough to post this before the fight. What are you trying to tell us? Do you have the courage to admit that you lied to everybody? That Roley didn't really win the fight, bro. Won't you tell us that? Since 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 yeah, you, you notice how every time somebody do something crazy, they want to try to get deep. They want to try to quote, quote 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 Bruce Lee. We don't want to hear that. We want to hear from you. We don't we don't want to hear what Bruce Lee thought before the fight. Before you really went out there and made a, a decision that impacted boxing, bro, and took food right out somebody's mouth. Don't go, don't don't try to quote Bruce Lee, man. Don't don't try it. Don't try that. I'm trying to tell you these dudes, every time these dudes do something crazy, they try to get deep and they want to quote Bruce Lee like it's supposed to make everything cool. I don't give a damn what he said in this quote. You wild, bro. You stole the opportunity from people. You turning boxing fans away from boxing. You get what I'm saying? You got Roly parading around here like he's some type of champion and he not. Y'all wild. Y'all wild. Y'all are wild together. I don't care about what Bruce Lee said, bro. What the hell is this supposed to mean? Do you at least have the courage to come out and say to the boxing world, you know what? I, I jumped the gun. I shouldn't have did that. That was that was premature. Other than that, you might as well take this post down, bro. I don't care about you trying to get deep. Care about what no Bruce Lee said. Tia, Tia Fimo was doing the same thing. Tia Fimo so smart and so deep, he went from quoting Bruce Lee to Stan Lee, the comic book dude. Goofy, man. Every time these dudes try to... Catch a sound by you want to go to Bruce Lee, pull a Bruce Lee quote out, out your ass somewhere. We don't care what Bruce said. Man, not if you ain't standing on it. You got an opportunity to stand on this. Admit your mistake. You cheated. You cheated. It wasn't a knockdown because we all seen it. It wasn't a TKO because we all seen it. But you want to make posts. Nah, bro. We don't give a damn about this post. We don't care about this post. Come out and tell the people why you cheated. Since you can admit, since we admitting stuff. You know what I'm saying? Or send his ass back to referee the kids' fights in the parking lot somewhere, bro. Send his ass back to the parking lots where the kids be getting in the scuffles at, bro. Oh, man. Man, yo. This was exquisite high-quality bullshit. You get what I'm saying, bro? High-quality BS if we ever saw it, yo. Uh, this this Tony Weeks right here, uh, Kurt. This was Tony Weeks uh, posting this right here. He posted this on his Instagram before the fight. Yeah, he posted this. He this Tony Weeks posted this on his IG before the fight. And it seemed like he was trying to let us know something. You get what I'm saying? His eyes when he bent over, I had to save him. Kept he kept the lie going. You get what I'm saying? And it, it, he did a bad job, bad, y'all. Tony Weeks did a bad job bad. <laughs> he said it was a knockdown according to Al Heyman, right? E, that's how they be coming. That's how they be. Yeah, according to Al Heyman, Al Heyman said it. Al Heyman set this all up. Yeah, it's just got Heyman written all over it. <laughs> it's got Al Heyman written all over it. And then and then the next next one, they be like, yeah, did you see May Mayweather? Yeah, this is Mayweather. Yeah, I don't know who y'all want to blame. That's why I say that stuff is speculation, and I respect all of it because I understand people got real, like, breakdowns of why they feel like it could be this person or that person at fault. I get that. But we don't have to speculate when we can look with our eyes and see who what ref, who refereed the fight. We also know Tony Weeks. We also know Showtime spoke up. They said, don't blame us. <laughs> we also, Tony Weeks refereed this fight, y'all. Do y'all remember for the ones that didn't catch this? Did y'all remember that Tony Weeks refereed this fight? Why didn't he stop this fight when, when Badu Jack lost? He lost just as much, much blood. In, in, in one fight as a woman lose on a cycle this is a, his face had a, a cycle a whole cycle his face had a whole cycle and just bled out all over the place tony weeks also refereed this fight he didn't think to stop it not one time not one time he let it rock 
Gabriel Morrell put somebody in a coma. He didn't stop the fight, not one time. That's all I'm saying. He did not. Nah. I, I, I tried to give him maybe the, the Morrell the Morrell fight was playing in the back of his head. But then I said, hold on. He hold on. He got the Badu Jack fight. He got the he got the Corrales, the Diego Corrales and Castillo fight. Hold on. That's 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 patterns. That he got history. He got a track record. This wasn't no coincidence. He knew what he was doing. If you don't think this fight needs, I would have punched Tony Weeks. For, if I would have seen my forehead split like this and he ain't stopped the fight, I would have punched Tony Weeks and shit. So the fight going to get stopped one way or the other. One way or the other, God damn it. Whether it's a, after the bell shot to the ref, something. My forehead split open like this, bro. Man, get, get this man some stitches and staples. My forehead split like this. His forehead split like the cracks on the sidewalk. And you still let him fight? Man, I'd have seen that cut and Tony Weeks would have got socked out. The fight gonna get stopped one way or the other, damn it. Whether I gotta sock you out or or, or sock him out. Somebody getting this fight getting stopped, bro. Face all bleeding. I look all crazy. I don't I ain't let nobody punch me in my face split like that. I don't care what y'all say. You can call me what you want. Once my forehead split, let just do forehead split like that, bro. I'm gonna be looking at the ref like bro, so you ain't gonna you ain't gonna stop the fight. Care what y'all say. My forehead split like this. I ain't signed up for that. <laughs> Badu Jack never in his wildest dreams would have thought he'd have lost this much blood to a split in his forehead against Marcus Brown. Ain't no way, bro. Ain't no way, bro. He confirmed it before the fight, Kurt. That's how I looked at it, bro. That's how I took it. That's how I took it. But I agree, put out a statement fast. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right, right, right. Right, right. They they all over at 817. Buckle up boxing talk. What's good with it, fan Tony? <laughs> Trying to make money. Yeah, yeah. Facts, bro. He, he he did a bad job bad. Buckle up. He did a bad job bad, bro. Bad job bad. How you do a bad job bad? Seattle Rick, what's good, family? How you feeling? Appreciate you pulling up. We just needed that bottle jack. Yeah, remember, he wrapped the bottle jack fight and buckle up. Remember, the David Morrell fight where dude ended up being in a coma. He watched that, he watched that shellacking. You know what I'm saying? He needed that gorilla glue for that. Fact, Seattle Rick, he needed that. You get what I'm saying? But this was Tony Weeks' work too, y'all. I'm just letting y'all know. That's why I pulled these pictures. I'm just letting y'all know this was his work. This was the guy that he allowed to keep fighting. Split. Bro, I I'm telling you right now, Marcus Brown, I like you, Marcus Brown, but you would have had to get off him. Nah, nah, nah. In that moment, my shit still bleed. You would have had to get off him. Nah, you would have had to get off me. You know that it ain't gonna be no long embraces, bro. It's not gonna be no long embraces, and you explaining to me why my forehead split like this, bro. Because we not we not talking about like what you gonna do to help me do something about my forehead having a sidewalk crack in the middle of my joint. We ain't gonna ain't gonna be no long embraces, bro. It's gonna be round thirteen, bro. That's what's gonna happen. Ain't gonna be no long brotherly love hug. Nah, bro. Ain't gonna be none of that. Matter of fact. I need you to get up off me. Matter of fact, I ain't got my do I did he even have his wraps off yet, bro? Is his wrap still on? Nah, my gloves ain't off. I need you to get up off me, bro. I ain't even get my hands up out of there yet. Cause I still put hands on you, bro. Nah, nah. Wait till I go to the locker room. Maybe my adrenaline went down a little bit. Maybe they didn't stitch me up. And maybe I done got over the trauma of how my forehead about to look for the rest of my life. Cause at this point, we definitely not cool, bro. I would have needed you out my face. The last thing I would have been doing was embracing. The only thing. That would have been I would have been embracing your chin with more lefts and rights, bro. That's it. It would have been no brotherly love here. You know what I'm saying? You between you and Tony Weeks, somebody would have gave me my round 13 out this motherfucker. Since you seen it fit, Tony Weeks to let the fight go. I see it fit. I got one more round in me. Let me get my one more round with you. And it's gonna be quick. Trust me. You know what I'm saying? And then but Marcus Brown, since you want to hug and shit and, and, and brotherly, nah, bro. One lefts and rights to the chin. You either you gonna help me fix this or you gonna look like me, bro. You damn sure not gonna be embracing. We ain't embracing. Look, Badu Jack probably like, bro, get get, get this guy off of me, man. Get this get, get this guy out of here. I ain't even he, he could taste his blood right now, bro. That blood about to drip in his man mouth and you you hugging and shit. And you caused it. Look, look, Marcus Brown, clean as a bell. Clean as a damn whistle. Nah, bro. I'd have needed, I'd have needed him up off me, bro. The last thing I need you is to be hugging up on me like we cool after you done split me to the to the bone gristle, bro. You split me to the gristle. Now you want to hug it out? I think not, bro. You lucky if I don't send another couple down your pipe, bro. Straight down your shit. You know what I'm saying? Nah, don't hug me, bro. Let me get to the locker room, get these gloves off me, and get the stitches and staples together, bro. 
joint looking crazy. But anyway, more of the story, more of the story. That was that was that was uh Tony Weeks' work right there, too. He had blood all over him in that fight, and he seemed he didn't see fit to stop that fight. He just let them ride it out. Badu Jack lost uh, a week's worth of blood in one fight, and he still let it go. It was cool, you know what I'm saying? Morel beating blood out of a guy, swelling him up, beating blood out. He beating a fight out of this dude to the point where he dropped him in the 12th and had to help him up and walk him to his corner. You you seen fit to let that fight just rock out. So we get the big watch Barroso. And, 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 and Roly, the artist formerly known as, and you cheat in front of everybody. Nah, sir, we got a problem with that. You bogus. We ain't letting you off the hook. Not letting you off the hook, bro. Tony Weeks, we, we deserve an explanation. That Bruce Lee quote, that shit ain't going to cut it. Y'all, I'm not even trying to be funny. Every time somebody do wrong or they in some type of trying moment, y'all want to try to get deep and go get to one of these quotes. We don't care about the quote, bro. We, we You not Bruce. We want to know if you do you stand behind that quote because if so it sounds like you got a mistake that you need to be admitting to or you need to get up out of boxing bro take your ass out of boxing but man, man let me stay on let me move it past this man move it past this this is what has me concerned for for, for Devin haney we just seen a fight that wasn't even nowhere near of a magnitude of an of a undisputed fight right you got an undisputed fight now you got to look at the circumstances surrounding an undisputed fight you got you got a uh, Devin Haney, who people swear don't nobody know, he can't sell, he can't punch, he uh, let some tell it he ain't got no chin, he can't fight, all this and that. Then you got the Lomachenko, that's the sweetheart, the darling of, of the boxing world to some. You get what I'm saying? He's still going to be under contract with Bob Aram. Devin Haney is not. Bob Aram is telling people to bet on Lomachenko, and nobody nobody is feeling a little bit worried for, for Devin Haney. Dead, be his ass, man. Nothing against you, Loma. Nothing against you. Nothing against you. May the best man win. I just want to see a fair fight. But Deb, you got work to do. Smoke his ass because they're gonna try to they're gonna try to take it from you. And that's what I think. I could be wrong as hell. I'm I'm willing to be wrong. I'll be wrong, bro. But Deb, you got work to do, man. They're gonna try to take it from you, bro. They're gonna try to take it from you. I'm calling it now to fix his end. Nobody expected them to pull that for Roly. They if they do that for Roly and you don't think somebody would do it for Lomachenko, the guy that they telling you better than Pretty Boy Flu in his prime? Yeah, yeah Steve, yeah, yo, Steve, Tony Weeks would have gave me my round 13. It would have been me and him. And, and, and if and if Marcus Brown wouldn't have hurried up and got the hell up off me, he would have gave me the round 13 on the house. Cause I ain't no way I'm embracing with my joint split like that, bro. I'm not trying to hug you. I'm not even cool. I'm not even cool with my face being rearranged like that at the point. I ain't even make peace with it yet. Get up off me, bro. Don't hug me. I'm still mad. I don't care. It's, I'm not cool. We're not cool. I don't care if the fight went the distance. Don't be hugging on me, bro. Don't hug me. You had to talk to me later, man. Text me, DM me, hit me on Twitter or something, bro. Don't be hugging me, though, bro. I don't want to be hugging. I don't want to hug and embrace. It definitely got me worried. Got me worried for Dev a little bit, bro. That's all. And again, let me be clear. This is nothing against Lomachenko. Lomachenko is going to do what a fighter does. Go in there and fight. That's what he's supposed to do. That's what he's supposed to do, right? But when you hear Bob Aram telling you to bet on a guy that ain't been looking his best, that's getting older, that people are claiming is past his prime, he's so old and all of that, and the guy that went to the war and that might affect him, and the guy that called Dev a heavyweight, and the guy that told everybody he needed more time, that is the guy that we're supposed to be putting our money on? He don't even seem confident. Not the young boy that said he want to retire him because he made him wait to fight him all this time. Not the guy that's coming off is more confident. He obviously putting the work in. The dude that been ch basically chasing for this, that's not the safe bet. The safe bet is the guy that didn't really want the shot. The only reason he's fighting Dev because Dev got everything you've been chasing since you've been a professional. And I know that's going to burn in your spirit when that 24-year-old young man put, the, put that jab to you for 12 rounds and beat your ass and keep his belts and send you about your business. And then they got to sit up here and explain how they going to erase your third loss as a professional the same way they erased your first two. Wild ass people, man. Wow, man. Victorville getting some Jack Ryan up. <laughs> Victorville, bro. Oh, man, you crazy. Victor, Victorville. Yeah, we got to stop him or at least get two knockdowns. Right, you got to make it convincing, bro. How size is that, man? And still was scared. Didn't want to fight him, bro. Didn't want to fight him. Didn't want to fight him. I feel Haney don't like him out. It's over for boxing because they're gonna screw the man. And we gonna we gonna be we gonna raise hell, bro. I'm gonna raise some hell with Devin. Do now, nah, ain't Devin do nothing. We just got work to do. Dev got work to do. Uh, 
Saturday, man, because they're gonna try to take it from him, fate. Or his ass for good, right? He he got he got come to hurt him though. Who's the ref for that fight? That I don't know. I'm gonna try to find out. I'm gonna see if I can find out. I'm gonna see if it's on um box rec thrill. Salute to thrill hill, man. But they crazy. I like to see Roman win because Haney isn't humble yet. I feel I feel you. I always feel it, but I think lightning. I think some of that um because Roly Robbie was nothing compared to what Bob gonna do. That's what I'm saying, Kurt. I think some of why um like just think of it this way, right? Lightning. I get you with the humble part, right? And I'm not trying to change your mind, right? I'm just offering you something else to think about, right? Just think about it. You got a guy that became undisputed, you know, despite his road or how difficult or, you know, or whatever it was, right? He became undisputed, right? When chased that down, he achieved the goal at 23 years old, right? But you got people that instead of just giving the respect where it's due as of the accomplishment and him as a young fighter, a young man in boxing going to chase something that so many people have chased and fell short and so many people still hope to achieve. He went and chased it, got it at 23. And the only thing people could say after him fighting and winning is, oh, but it was only Cambosis. But you only beat Cambosis. You get what I'm trying to say? And then, again, I'm playing devil's advocate for the people like that don't, that think he should be more humble. Just think about it. When he wins and then he wins again decisively, the only thing they say, oh, winning in enemy territory, they ain't nothing. That's only a stadium. That's only a, 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 a area on the map. That don't mean nothing. The fact that his father didn't even know if he was going to be in the first down on map. Now, you get what I'm trying to say? It's like instead of giving him the credit, they find ways to take it from him. Ah, oh, don't nobody know him. I heard somebody say today, and I got a little chuckle out of it. I ain't going to lie. I got a little chuckle out of it. I heard somebody say Devin Haney couldn't sell out a homeless shelter on Thanksgiving. <laughs> That's still funny. It's still a little bit funny, yeah, but I ain't say it. But anyway, somebody say he couldn't sell out a homeless shelter on Thanksgiving, right? So, like, you get what I'm saying? It's it's stuff like that. And I'm not, I'm not saying that person was knocking him, but these are the things that people rather say about him. They'd rather point point out and find ways to critique and like downplay his undisputed him getting undisputed then then just saluting him and giving him his credit and saying you know what even though he got it, he got undisputed but it's still some way much you know way tougher opponents out there than Cambosis. it's the way you say things and people will find a way to make undisputed sound like less than what it is when it's pertaining to dev because they don't fancy his style or his lack of punching power in their words or him being chinny in their words like Giving him saying him not being able to sell, they don't think that Dev is not their guy. So instead of giving him his just do how I'm able to do, they're gonna find reasons and ways to slight him for being an undisputed champion instead of giving him his credit. That's the problem I have. That's where I kind of come to the to the aid of, of the Haney and say, like, hold on, man, you gotta give credit where it's due. Uh, you know what I'm saying? You ain't gotta pat him on the back and tell me the greatest, but you gotta tell him the way he's been moving, he handling business, you can't really knock it. And people still find ways to be like, ah, he ain't this. He ain't that. He needs to be more humble. You get what I'm saying? But they don't give him his credit. So it's like being humble ain't going to get him no credit from the people. So he got to talk his talk a little bit. You get what I'm saying? What you want him to do is say don't don't like the change. Don't like the fact that he says he undisputed. That's what that and that's 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 right. You know, that's what I'm saying. 817. It seemed like in all honesty, see, uh, Phenom, you feel that way. And again, I, I, I try to look at it on both ways because I'm never a guy to tell somebody they're wrong for how they view things. I know everybody interprets things differently and they digest different information and stuff differently so people get different different things out of him i think he i think i do think he's humble but i do think he's confident and i think um you know like i said you will have more people slight him for what he's accomplished than give him credit they'll start off by slighting him before they'll give him the credit they'll say cambosis wasn't this or that before they give him the credit like i'll i'll I, i've done that but i've done it within context of a conversation right when you're going in depth I don't start off a conversation when I'm speaking about Devin Haney's accomplishments by slighting it. I start off by giving him all his credit. Now, the deeper you go with the conversation, you force to peel back some layers and say, you know, you come up with some different assessments. Like you, you forced to have a conversation like how good was Cambosis? It depends on the conversation, but I'm not going to start a conversation off by finding a way to discredit him becoming undisputed because Cambosis wasn't the best fighter in the world. You get what I'm saying? Defeat was still what it was. I respect it. He said he wanted it. He took it short. He went and got it. Then he doubled back. Went and took, you know what I mean? He went and took it. And then he doubled back and went and kept it. You got what I'm saying? And defended it. So I just respect it. And, and I leave it at that until somebody overstates what he did, too. Because you got people that overstate it. You got people that's going to slight it. Then you got people that's going to overstate it. 
know what I'm saying? You're going to you're going to have people that say because he did that, his resume is so much better than this, this, this one and that one. And that's just not true. So, you know, what I mean, it all depends. You know? So I think that's where Haney's confidence come from, that outspokenness that he showed, that confidence that he do got and he display. It comes from a place of I know the work I put in and I know these people going to slight me. He ain't sitting around. It's kind of like Clarissa in a sense. She's not sitting around waiting for people to say she great. She's going to tell you and she's going to tell you till you get tired of it. And, and I kind of love that about her. Some people feel like she go, she do too much. I get what people are saying. But for me, I'm going to just appreciate it all because I feel like I understand it. It comes from a place of slight. And how dare you tell me how bright my, my, my star is shining? You get what I'm saying? I think that's her approach. You know what I'm saying? How you going to tell me how, 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 uh, you know, bright to shine as a star and you ain't going to limit me. You're not going to close my mouth. Anytime I speak on something or I feel something, I'm going to speak on it. They don't like that about Clarissa. So they don't like outspoken champions that are who they say they are. You know what I'm saying? They'd rather you just shut up and be quiet. Everybody can't be that. So I think, um, <laughs> I try to become a ref and see what kind of bag you get for rigorous. Yeah, I'm telling you, fate. It make you wonder though. It do. <clears throat> Other news too, y'all. John and Beck feels like he's the boogeyman of the middleweight division, y'all. He feels like he's the boogeyman of the middleweight division. He said he's the most avoided fighter in boxing. J John and Beck, he's the most avoided fighter. Um, <clears throat> it might be some truth to it, but I don't think he's the most avoided fighter. Um, he's supposed to feel like he's the king. He got a belt. He winning. He coming off a big win. He doing his thing. Let's see how good he continues to be, right? He ain't even got what? Do we barely do? Don't even got 20 fights yet. So 18 fights yet. I think he got about around 15 fights or so, if that. But we're gonna see. John Beck say he's the most avoided fighter. He's the king of 160. He said he'd love to fight Charlo. That'll be an easy win for him. He was talking a little spicy. I mean, I ain't mad at it. You're supposed to talk your talk. But he ain't the king of nothing yet because just the fight before you was looking a little shaky. Now, you redeemed yourself, but it could have been a level of opposition that you had in front of you. It could have been perfect timing. could have been a showcase fight, which was what it looked like. And I really want to see him in there with an actual threat so I could see what he really looked like because Denzel Bentley made him look different. You know what I mean? I should – yeah, he said you ain't talking about nothing. Watch. <laughs> Oh shit, that's weird. I'm gonna become the ref for Lombard's dead and I'm throwing it for merely none less. And he offers you stupid. You know, fool, bro. Uh -huh. Yeah, they always they always talk about um um uh and again I feel like they tell us to humble ourselves a lot. I only hear that word when it pertains to certain athletes. That's why I don't really I don't really um I don't really rock with that word. It was once upon a time that I believe people should be humble. But then when I started to sit back and really, and this is just a conversation, this is from me to y'all, like my observation, I see that people, that only comes up when it's a certain type of fighter or a certain specific athlete, you know what I mean? Doing well and doing anything. That, that, that word humble comes up. I never hear that come up with, you know, so many other athletes. I just hear with a specific group of athletes and I don't rock with it no more because it's like they basically telling you don't feel confident. Let us tell you how good you are. You don't tell us. Let us tell you. You get what I'm saying? Let us sit here and wait for us to tell you if you're great, even though we can't do a, a tenth of what you do in the ring or on the court or on the football field. But don't don't speak about your greatness. Just shut up. Sit still. Sit back and let us. The ones that can't do it, that only got suit and tie, you know what I mean? That's employed with a damn pushing a pen and a piece of paper. Yeah, let us sit back because we because we analyze it. We we know how great you are. And if we say you're great, then it's cool to say you're great. But if you say it, nah, hell no. You you ain't great. Uh-uh. We didn't say it first. We ain't stamp it. Like, and that's what I love about Clarissa. She un, un unapologetically is going to speak greatness over her life. She speaks it every it's, it's every time she speaks and people just can't appreciate it. You get what I'm saying? And I think, again, I don't tell nobody how to feel about it. I know some people feel different ways about it. I could appreciate it because I think it comes from a place of slight. She ain't going to wait for you to tell her, sit here and be like, ah, yeah, well, Clarissa is this. She'll be waiting her whole career for that. You get what I'm saying? So if you feel like you that, 
then talk like it. Speak it. Speak it into existence, but long as you put the work in. And you know, undeniably, she's just one of the hardest working females we got. Right, right, Phenom. Right. That's all facts. That's all facts. Right. That's all. That's that is true. You know it. You know it. Y'all know it, man. Y'all know it, family. We on point and we ain't got, you know what I mean? We just on point. We got to call it what it is, man. Gertz, what's good with it, Gertz? Appreciate you pulling up. How you feeling, fam? Mark Ty versus Nakatila is going to be the fight other other night. Anyway, yeah, that's going to be a damn good fight, bro. That, I think they got, we got a whole, they got a whole nice solid car. So again, you just, you know what I mean? If you didn't know, his ass no now. You get what I'm saying? So it's like, I just be wanting people to like understand, like, you know what I mean? Understand where we coming from. You can speak victory over our lives all the time. That's right. That's right, baby girl. And again, you just don't wait for nobody else to do it. Like, you get what I'm saying? Yeah, Canelo. You get what I'm saying? And again, y'all, it just notice it, it, it it'd be some of the greatest talent you ever seen in your life or some of the best talent that's that's existing in today's world in in a certain sport or profession and they they want it to be humble oh don't talk about how great you are you we can do it though we can tell you how great you are or how great you not all day even though we can't do none of what you do but we can you get what i'm saying so that's why the more I understand how hard boxing is and how hard it is to compete at that high of a level, that makes my 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 assessment not as as tough as somebody else's, right? I'm still gonna be fair. I'm gonna be real, right? I'm gonna be real. I don't like the word fair in boxing. Salute to Stormy B, man. He pointed that out to me. I don't like the word fair, right? Because what we just seen Saturday night wasn't fair at all, right? But I'm gonna always be real. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna always be real. Salute to everybody in the building, man. Y'all punch that like button if y'all haven't. Sub to the channel. We're going to cook for a few more minutes, man. Got a couple more things I'm going to touch on. Probably really fan. Yeah, um, and he probably don't know. I think he meant well because he's usually his energy is always good. But, you know, I, 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 he'd be all right. Y'all know they're going to make sure Katie Taylor went Saturday. Can't trust boxing anymore, right? All right. Salute to everybody, man, in the building. Y'all smash the like button. But look, man, I don't know if y'all, uh, <clears throat> and it's just something to talk about. You know, I do conversations. Um, I seen Michelle Rivera come out and say Keyshawn Davis ain't on his level. Say Keyshawn Davis ain't on his level, right? And you know, I know right off the bat, people would be like, "Oh, well, this is a here we go again. It's PBC. It's top rank. Is this?" I mean, look, he said it. He said Keyshawn ain't on his level. But when I, I did a little bit of homework, I happened to see that um, Keyshawn is um. Uh, I think ranked higher than this guy. Now I know the rankings don't really mean much. I really don't. Knockout boxing 86 TV. What's good, KO? How you feeling, bro? Appreciate you stopping the oh I got you talking about something else. Yeah, so I don't really care. I don't really make too many conversations centered around rankings and things like that. But for what it's worth, just for conversation purposes, he is ranked higher than what they got Michelle Rivera right now in the sanctioning body. So for him to say he, he ain't gonna take a step back and he ain't on his level. I mean, you know, the rankings say otherwise, just just for what it's worth. You know what I'm saying? The rankings say otherwise. But again, I understand that his levels in boxing and everybody think they the man. But the last time we seen Michelle Rivera in the ring, like, I'm going to be completely honest. That guy, that guy that I seen Frank Martin beat the hell out of, if we just being real, there's no diss to Frank Martin. It's no slight Frank Martin whooped his ass because Frank Martin like that, right? But I feel like Michelle Rivera looked like shit. And I feel like a lot of fighters would have beat him that night. I feel like a lot of fighters would have beat him that night. And if he look ever look like that again, the same thing gonna happen. He gonna look he look like that, he's gonna get his ass beat again. Terry Smooth was good with it, huh? Hey, Rose found that old man. He's <laughs> yeah, with Tony Weeks, man. Tony Weeks did a number, bro. Tony Weeks did a number. Roby will unify. I'm gonna roll the beer. Next Josh Tyler, man, Terry, you know you're the king of him, Terry, man. He be having me going, man. He wish. I think they might be setting um roll oh big Roly to get beat up by Ryan Garcia and make Ryan Garcia a champion. I really do. I could be wrong as hell. People keep saying Tank, but Tank at 35 and he fought. Like, what is he? How many times he fought within the last uh year or so, about the year, 11 months or so, a couple times? Like, nah, Tank need a vacation, he deserved one, right? So uh but I think that's unlikely because it's at 140 again. People feel like the belt is going to entice Tank to go up there and fight Roley again. I just don't see him. For a guy that we know, tell you, he don't care about no damn belts. Why would he be willing to do that, right? Why, why what, what, you know what I mean? I don't think he would give a fuck. I don't think he would care. So, 
I mean, Roley is Roley. I think I, I heard him talking about Ryan Garcia and Roley, and I, I could see that being a potential play, and that could be Ryan's path to a title. I mean, I, I, I again, I'm just spitballing, but that could be his path at a title for sure. Him fighting, uh, him fighting Roley, Roley and Ryan fighting. Cause other than that, other than that, those guys are those guys are food, bro. Respectfully, those guys are food. They're they're food. Um, Tio, like I said, they the Mount they the Mount Rushmore of idiots. No disrespect, they the Mount Rushmore of food at 140. Those dudes do not beat no top fighters at 140, in my honest opinion. I think Tiafimo, the butt his buck stops when he gets in there with uh when he gets in there with Josh Taylor June tenth. I think. Ryan Garcia going gonna have it rough at 140 when he come back. I think Roley, he got a title right now. But like I said, the business of boxing been real good to Roley. It's been real good to Roley, but has Roley been real good to the business of boxing? I mean, he did. He sold the tank fight with his mouth, right? He went in there and got concussed. You know what I mean? Just to wake up talking crazy. And ch tank changed that man forever. He'll never be the same. You get what I'm saying? Then he come back. The business of boxing awards him with a title shot. Then they go a step further. They award him with a knockout, a TKO, and then handed the title to him on a platter. So again, the business of boxing has been very good to Roley, but Roley hasn't been good. He didn't he didn't really fulfill his end of the bargain. They had to do some underhanded stuff in order for this guy to win. So I know again I might be talking like in a lane of conspiracy, but this dude might be he he gonna have to pay pay them back. He gonna have to give something back to the business of boxing. And I just feel like that's how it's gonna work. They've been they got him the biggest fight <clears throat> that they could have ever got him in his life with Tank Davis. You know what I'm saying? It's no bigger fight for him to get. Then you turn around, you get a title shot, and then ne the next weight class up. You get what I'm saying? Right on cue. And then they hang they hand deliver it to you by giving you a BS knockdown and a TKO. You can't make this stuff up. So at some point, I think he's gonna have to pay back the business of boxing. And he's gonna do that. And it's crazy because if they make a Ryan and a Roley fight. He'll get another decent payday, but he probably get beat up because I, I before this fight Saturday I seen Roley beating Ryan. I always did, not no more. I see Ryan being able to beat him. Why? Because Roley ain't even Roley no more. And any guy that's that unsure of himself, I'm not picking him to beat nobody. Even even a guy like Ryan Garcia. At least Ryan Garcia fought with some damn confidence against Tank. Not on his own. Facts, be now. I'm not on his own. Roley can't stop nothing. Nope. Roley won the title. It wasn't. Had <laughs> <laughs> Terry, a fool. Salute to Terry. It really stops Spence. Yeah, man. In, a, in another life, he's still yeah, he gonna stop him at the he gonna stop him outside when he see him. <laughs> stop him and get a picture. Say Spence, Arrow, EJ. I'm a fan. A little bit of cherry picks at one for it. Ain't it a little bit of cherry picks at 40 though? It, it, yeah, it ain't it ain't deep. I don't think 40 is full of uh cherries and things like that, like some of these other divisions, but they got some. I'm pretty sure they could always find some. But Again, the crazy thing with Roley is he gonna crash out. He like a crash test dummy. No disrespect to him. Like I think he's willing to do any and everything they say. And I, like again, the business of boxing has been good to him. So when it comes time for him to have to pay back the business of boxing, what you gonna have to do? Because he getting opportunity after opportunity, lucrative tank fight. Then you get a title fight. I mean, maybe you might get one more gift, but at some point, Roley going to have to pay back the business of boxing. And remember, I said that I don't care how it come. I don't care if it's intentionally set up for him to lose. It doesn't matter. He's going to have to pay back. Isn't They're not going to be able to sell us Roley for long is what I'm saying. Yeah, that that would be selling us a lie. And you could you could drag a lie out for a long time, dep depending on the type of lie. But Roley, the quality or lack thereof, that is Roley. I don't think I don't think they're going to try to sell us him for too long. Because a lot of people are saying Barroso 40, he's he 27. They feel like the reason that, you know, they're going in that route and the reason they was cool with cheating him is because Barroso old, Roley's younger, sell, he's marketable, he run his mouth, he sell tickets. But I don't know how long they're going to be able to sell that lie, like I said. And at 140, that's going to have to, they're going to have to, they're going to have to, they're going to have to work some magic to convince and really sell the world that he's a quality fighter at 140. Because I don't think nobody believes that after Saturday night. Or they were about nope thrill nope thrill nope not my pain nope mm -mm. nope not at all not at all.
But it's going to be interesting to see because this Roley getting a jump the line, like I said, made a mess of the 140 division because you got so many people seem like they jockeying for position or for opportunity at the belt. You got Puglio in recess. They talking about he come back, he get go right in line. You got O'Hara Davies and his team talking about they're going to pursue legal action if they try to go make a fight with anybody else but them. So they're saying that the WBA don't order Davies versus Romero next. They're going to go the legal route. Let's see how far they get with that. You know what I mean? We got Barroso and his team saying they're going to push for the rematch, which I think he should get. You got the WBA president himself saying that was a – forgot the words. He said, what did he say, a shit show? Something he said, but he was like they, – they basically fumbled that decision. It was terrible. So he said he feel like Barroso also deserve a rematch. So let's see if he actually get one. Be considered a gatekeeper after his next fight. Don Trey, right, I'm telling you. Yeah, man, Kurt, he just ain't it. He just ain't the guy. Respectfully, he just ain't the guy. He just ain't the guy. Respectfully, he's not the guy, but you know what well, it is. What it is, it it'll. I mean, I think the truth will the truth will reveal itself. You know what I'm saying? I don't think, like I said, I just don't feel like they can sell Roly to us for too much longer. You get what I'm saying? I don't think he got so many fights where you could convince people that Roly is, you know what I mean? Some some good ass fighter that you know. I just. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. But um, salute to him for doing it, though. Salute to him for doing it. Loma versus Tank. Devin versus Tank. Sims Jr. will be champ. Yeah, I I'm pushing for Sims Jr. I like Sims Jr. a lot, man. I like his like his skill set, man. I like what he brings to the table. I like him and his pops. Um, I'm rooting for Sims Jr., man. Kenny Sims, he put on, man. He riding a seven-fight win streak. Two of those fights was from undefeated opponents. Like I said, one, one of them I was in the building for. He been in his bag, man. Him and his pops been cooking over there, and they've been winning. And I like it. I like what I see out of Kenny Sims. Just got to tighten up on some things, as always. But, you know what I mean? Yeah, I like what I see from him. Yeah, yeah, he had that Ugas eye for sure. He had that Ugas eye. WBA going to order that PVC tells him to order. Order what PVC tells him. Right, right. So, again... That's why they threaten illegal action as far as O'Harry Davis and his team, his team anyway, because they already know they're probably going to go in another direction. They're trying to bring in the Cuban fan base with Rogan. Hmm. It's interesting, bro. Interesting. You just never know with boxing, right? You just never know. I have a feeling that Andy going to get a title shot in his third fight. It's possible. It's possible. It's possible they're going to give him the Lomachenko treatment. Especially with people saying he's the best amateur in the world ever and stuff like that. When I be hearing stuff like that, that's super, super, super high praise. I think I be feeling like they're going to roll out the carpet for you, bro. I'll pay to see AB versus Roly. Me too. Me too, Down Trey. I'll pay for it, bro. I'll pay for that. I'll pay for Roly. Uh, I'll pay for Roly. I'll pay for Roly and AB fight. And it seemed <clears throat> seem more possible now, bro, than ever. Know what I'm saying? It seemed more possible now than ever. Let AB get that that win back with Hutchison. I think it was, was it July 9th, June 9th, June 9th, I think. Yeah, June 9th. Let AB get that win. Watch. AB going to be on it, bro. Trying to make me baller. I think he's on top of the world. Yeah, facts. Trying to make talking crazy. He the, he the uh, buggy man. What do he say? No, I don't want to put words in his mouth. He says he's the most avoided fighter, and he's – um. The king of 160. And then he said also that he'll love to fight with Charlo. That'd be an easy fight. He'll love to take his belt. So yeah, he is talking a little extra confident, but it's cool. It's cool. But you don't Steve Butler ain't no damn Charlo. I'm telling you, that's why I want to see Charlo get back to his regular form. Cause people gotta put some respect on his name. Dudes just be talking like you Charlo was just a guy that who you could just walk in there and whoop his ass or something. I, I don't like that. I don't like how they talk like that. And I know it's hard for people to get what has he done for me lately? I get those people, but I want to see Charlo get back into the mix, man, so he could deliver, man. People got to put some respect on his name, man. Charlo, one of them dudes. He one of them ones, man. Charlo, one of them ones. I, I, I rock with the Charlo brothers. Wouldn't pay for Rooley versus Ryan, but I, I would. I just love boxing. Yeah, I probably would. Yeah, yeah, I'm with you. I'm with you with that, too, Kurt. It's one of them feelings. Where it's like how 8 1 was saying, when you peep the play, you got a tendency to be like the hell with it, right? But yeah, the boxer, the boxing fan, then you would just like want to see it. You know what I'm saying? Most avoided by Andre, definitely threw his belt in the air. AOA, hey, hey, salute fan, appreciate you for pulling up. Yeah, he, he definitely, um, 
you know, like uh, I just know when it came to that situation, I know it was more, more, it was more than just black and white. Well, Andre just, it wasn't just him turning down the fight. I think it was a matter of, again, not being offered what he felt like he was worth as a two division champion and not being willing to put it on the line for some garbage money. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's crazy how they try to do Janet Beck fight morale. If you like, yeah, yeah, right. Eli Harris, salute fan. Appreciate you pulling. I think Russell was on his feet and we protecting him from life change damage. He was like, you couldn't tell he defended so much longer. Appreciate you, bro. Hey, man, go look, check it out. Go look at it again, bro. Those punches. And this is just from my vantage point. Maybe you still seen something else. Salute to Eli. Appreciate you. Them punches to me wasn't even landing for Roly. It wasn't even landing. Like, I, I, before I came up here, I went back and watched that clip again. I would have played it, but I don't want to, I don't feel like dealing with no copyright issue. But to me, I seen him throwing them punches. Them joints wasn't even landing. I was like, wow, bro. Wow. Wow. And remember, Tony Weeks, I was pulling it up earlier. Tony Weeks refereed this fight. Remember with old Badu Jack and allowed this fight to continue with this big ass split down his, down his face, right? He let it, he let this fight continue. You dig what I'm saying? Let that fight keep going. But and then he let Morel beat Ados into a coma. Respect to him. I'm glad he recovered and everything. But you see what I'm saying? He never stopped it. Real G salute fam. He said, Lum about to beat the brakes off Devin Haney. Look, anything is possible, man. Um, nah, he he know that. <clears throat> he know real G. He just saying if he really feel like he like that, go to 68 and, and fight Morel. But yeah. Um, John and Beck do feel like he the guy, but we're going to see. He looking like he can he can talk his talk right now because he winning, right? But, yeah, and the eight pounds up ain't, 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 ain't unheard of. Yeah, and they both, yeah, all facts, bro. That's right. Talk to him, right, right. That would definitely be interesting, though, definitely. John and Beck versus GGG, yeah, facts, facts. Kazakhstan, even right now, right now with 40-year-old Triple G. Let's go. You know it, fight week, you know it. Offer uh, Broner and Roly fight after he report out of figure roll fight. Right. Yeah. Um uh, yeah, he he said that, but I don't think he would have been right to come back and try to like fight nobody that that we know. I think uh A B was always gonna get the kind of opponent that he got now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Morel is smashing, bro. Real G. Uh salute to everybody in the building. Y'all make sure y'all smash that like button. Sub to the channel if you knew. We're gonna cook for a few more minutes before we get up out of here. Yeah, Morel, one of the ones, bro. I like I like what I see in Morel. I like the talent, the skill set, the attitude. I like the patience, the hunger. I like what I see from him, man. John Beck look good against we got position, but he ain't the guy. Bentley made him look bad. Bentley made him look very regular, bro. In my opinion, very regular. Bentley made him look very regular. You know what I'm saying? We made him look very regular. I'm not trying to knock him. I knew that was a one-off performance, but he did make him look regular in that fight. He for sure did. So we're gonna see because John Beck is confident, man. He got he had a couple people, couple fights not happen, so he feel like people ducking him. He uh coming off a, a nice knockout win in a, in a showcase, pretty much a showcase fight for himself. So he feeling good and he talking that talk, but it's going to take for the pressure. Somebody going to add 160, going to have to step to the plate, put some pressure on him. Other than that, he going to keep talking. Uh, he said he the king of 160. Be yeah, right. Right, fake. Not much damage you get, Kate. I'm going to get better and better. Facts, Kurt. Getting better by the fight. Um, that's what I'm saying. All these people that keep talking about he only got this many fights, that many fights, you better go fight him now. I'm telling you now. The more the more fights he get under his belt, the more dangerous he is. He's going to be somebody ass. I'm telling you. David Morrell is a problem. Morrell, he got that WBO uh, fate. He got the one boo-boo hat. He got boo-boo old, old belt, yo. Russian Wolf found salute fam says so Russian. Yeah, he did. He did say that. He definitely said that. Uh, Wolf found. He definitely said that, bro. But uh, more importantly, I just want to see uh, AB just get back in the ring, and get a win, secure the win first. <laughs> Talking about you about to take over one for, but he did. He was talking like that. That he just focused on this this one fight in front of him. Then he go from there, which is that's the kind of attitude he need to have. 
Sims the truth. Salute. Keep working. Champ. Appreciate you, Mike. Much love, bro. Um, I'm, we gonna be headed out soon, man. Anyway, man. Much love and appreciation. Everybody in the building, y'all make sure y'all punch that like button before y'all slide up out of here. And uh, look, man, again, it's always a dope build. Let me make sure. I don't think I missed nothing. Yeah, nah. Kenneth Sims, man, he also just won a WBA title eliminator. So it's interesting to see what they're going to do with him and what kind of opportunity him winning that fight is going to get for him because I think he's deserving of a title shot. So 140 is about to get interesting because it, it, as it looks, it looks like people are jockeying for position over that WBA strap. It looked like, you know, O'Hari Davies and his team, they want an opportunity at the belt. Ken Sam said he he'd take the winner out of Roly and Barroso. You know what I mean? So look, as he'll fight Roly, which I know he will, and he'll beat Roly. You know what I'm saying? I know he'll fight him and he'll beat him. So I, I would love to see. I love to see Ken Sims get his opportunity. Michelle Rivera said Keyshawn Davis is not on his level. He said he ain't gonna take a step backwards. He's looking going forwards, but as it stands, oddly enough, even with Keyshawn Davis only having eight fights. It wouldn't necessarily be a state step back according to the rankings because Keyshawn Davis is ranked ahead of him in the force in the four sanctioning bodies. He's ranked ahead of Michelle Rivera. So Michelle Rivera might want to take a second look at that if he care or he probably just feel how he feel. It is what it is. It's something for a conversation. It's all good. I feel like people Keyshawn is going to be a wait and see kind of guy. I think he's going to prove a lot of people wrong. I think some people might be right, but ultimately. I think the naysayer is going to be proven wrong. I don't think no running the mill fighter is just going to get in there and beat his ass. I don't think he just no average ass prospect. I actually think he's a really good prospect. How good remains to be seen, but we'll see as time goes on. Right now, he 8 0. I think he'll be back in the ring. They say July 22nd. So I'll, I'll be looking forward to that to see, see who they put him in there with and see how he performed, man. I'm going to keep an eye on him. Keep an eye on him for sure. And fate, man, you you couldn't be more on point, bro. Man, that's that's why I appreciate you, bro. Coming through right on point with that conclusion, man. Right with the conclusion. It's like he know right when I'm wrapping up. I just want to make sure we touch everything, and then I don't want to keep y'all here longer than y'all need to because it's already about three hours in, and we had a hell of a stream, a good stream. Appreciate every last one of y'all, the new family as well. Salute to everybody rocking with your boy. Y'all smash that like button on the way out. Make sure y'all keep rocking with me. We right back at it tomorrow at 4 at our time, man. Was it for dinner next Sunday morning? <laughs> Humble pie. <laughs> right, real G. <laughs> but in conclusion, man, get Barroso his rematch. River versus Tupac Davis is a good fight. I'm telling Rivera versus Tupac Davis is a good fight. Devin wants smoke with Loma. Fact, Sims Jr. is a future champ. John Beck needs to prove himself and make boxing great again. All facts. Much love and appreciation. Salute to my bro, Kurt. Fate always coming through real G. Appreciate you, bro, pulling up, man. Salute to you. Welcome to the family. And come smash that like button and uh, uh, sub to the channel, Brody. Eli, peace, bro. Peace. And Fate, my bro. You know what I mean? That could be a good one. Shout out a lot. Ashley's Corner, my cousin. Much love and appreciation to everybody and the fam, man. We're going to keep building. Y'all know how we go. We keep building, grinding, building, growing. Y'all know the slogan, 4 o'clock. We're going to be back cooking again. We're going to be back to get boxing. It's just due, man. So with that, family, I'm going to let y'all get up out of here. And we out. Peace to the fam.